we're we're going. Welcome to the thing, Keith. Hi. Hi. We're live. We're live, and most okay. importantly, we're being recorded on the backup that's going up to YouTube. So the video starts now, my guy. Welcome to the video starts now. Welcome to the video starts now. We're here on my brand new Sega Genesis Mini that I recently bought for fifty percent off on sale. Wow, they're because they're ba they're giving these things away. They're giving these babies away. It was one of those sales. It was one of those sales they have on things sometimes. I bought Where, it. Where'd you get it? I uh, have it. It was an embarrassing secret. Internet dot com. No, I it's I just don't remember <laughs> okay. the internet. Amazon. I don't know. Um, what are these things full price? These babies go for seventy nine ninety nine, and now I've hacked it here, so this has extra games. It comes with forty games. I can show you, and it, with two controllers, it's a little mini, mini Genesis. You know, it's one of those. Yeah, it looks like a Genesis, but it's small. But it's small. Came out. So if I go the spines here, the ones with real spines are the ones included, and the hack cheese spines are the ones I added. So it's like we got Alex. That's quite a few Kid. games. Yeah, Alicia. It, and it's this is probably like I wasn't sure about this when I bought it because like I have a million Genesis collections, and a lot bad. of them aren't awesome or they haven't been recently. But this is. Besides the fact that it commits the cardinal sin of not only not including the full Sonic 3 and Knuckles, it doesn't include Sonic 3 or Sonic and Knuckles. That's a true crime. But other than that, it's like the best uh, it library doesn't have of Sonic the Genesis 3 collection. or Sonic and Knuckles? I know. Isn't that fucked? But what That's I like, it's what so I like about easy it, to just put it in there. Yeah, but what I what I do like about this collection, though... Is that like pre like more recent ones have kind of done a real quantity over quality type thing, and this kind of dials it back. Instead of giving you like Golden Axe one, two, and three, it's like just have Golden Axe one. That's the only one that matters. Who cares about the other two? Like yes, Sega owns them. They can give you them for free, but just like keep it simple. Mm. But some other stuff we got in here, Contra Hardcore. That's the best Contra game, if you ask me. I played that for the first game, first time last year. That game slaps. What okay. a what a game! Awesome. And you can hack it, so you just put, you can just put Sonic Three on here. And you can just you can, and it did. Also, you have Sonic Three nine or ten other times or yep. more. Well, but the the reason it was important for me to get Sonic Three on this one is because I partially I partially bought this just because it's the Genesis and I love it and I wanted it. Uh, but also because I was hoping my daughter would like playing it, and um, she's mm, been but really she re hates it. She's been responding uh, really well to the classic controllers. I think she likes them because they're you know less buttons, so they're not as confusing, and they're bigger and kind of yeah, simpler for, for her to hold. And... Yeah, they're for fucking casuals. Um, so yeah, I I got it hoping she'd like it, and she really likes it. So. I, I actually am just essentially borrowing this from her to do this video, and then I'm going to bring it back. Ooh, um, they got Syndicate on here. I I put Syndicate on there. Oh. We'll get a, go over what's what comes in it. There's uh, Alicia Dragoon I hadn't heard about. That was cool. Um, Altered Beast, Beyond Oasis. Castlevania Bloodlines is the worst... 16-bit Castlevania game, but it's it's like a Sonic CD situation where people think it's the best one because no one had it. Uh, Cas oh, here's a big uh, one. It was, it was rare, not good. It was rare, not good. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is a big one for my daughter. Castle of Illusion starring Mickey and the sequel, World of Illusion with Mickey and Donald, which is... Can um, I go on a slight tangent about, about rare being a funny thing? I'll just finish saying I didn't know that World of Illusion was co-op, and that's been great for me and my daughter to have a Mickey and Donald Duck game to play together. What's your thing um, about your thing? You, I'm sure you've been. I've sh I'm sure you've seen a Vine compilation. Earthworm Jim, maybe you've heard of that one. People like I have that heard one. of that. I've I Earthworm Not... Jim was one of my favorite games as a kid. Wow, that's yep. so interesting. I loved it. Well, I... you know that I was like like my childhood video game experience was like like the Dreamcast, but before I had a before I had like a Dreamcast, I had I I had did video games in like three ways. I had an N64 at my dad's house. 
I had a Game Boy, mm -hmm. and I had a computer full of emulators and ROMs oh, okay, from sure. Super Nintendo and Genesis that I had figured out how to do when I was like six or seven. Um, do we want to pick a game real quick so I can start playing, and then we're not just talking at the menu for an hour, or, or you know, what? Uh, well, just, we could I'll... do we could do classic run button. Um, you know, one of our top mm -hmm. most favorite Sonic games, Vector Man. <laughs> I thought you were gonna do. I thought you were gonna say like classic run button game talk at the menu for 25 minutes um uh, or echo jr that looks fun that's echo, a hack g one though right it's not for yeah first of all it's not fun i put that on there because echo the dolphin everyone loved being oh, echo the dolphin okay being echo is great but it's really hard so i put on echo jr uh for my oh, daughter tides of time too is that one hack which which one did it come with did it only come with echo the dolphin only came with echo the dolphin which is the okay, one you want so, uh, tides of time is great i've never played it didn't we play Tides of Time? Maybe we played it for a minute. No, we I'm played Echo button. the Dolphin. And, Ju and Junior. Okay. Yeah, let's play Tides of Time. Oh, we can play Tides of Time. Tides of Look at his face on Tides of Time. I fuck it's so I know. Funny. This dolphin fucks. Look at this. Okay. <laughs> well. Not only does he fuck, he kicks ass. Listen, this picture came up on a previous run button stream around the same time we were talking about how dolphins are known to commit sex crimes against one another and it was just a bad combination all around that's the i don't i don't like the cover of echo the tides of time okay <laughs> it's just not a I fan think i think it is appropriately intense i will say there's the um i saw the genesis the bleh, saw the japanese cover of echo it was a little bit nicer before I'll go. I'll, I want me finish going over because I just I'm really impressed with um you know they they Sega went out of their way to get some of the best Genesis games that aren't from Sega. So there's Gunstar Heroes, which is uh, everyone's favorite. We what do we else we have? Uh, Road Rash I think is actually oh that's an EA. Uh, well, game. I was a big fan. Of, I have Road Rash for my Sega Nomad. Um, I like the inclusion of Fantasy Star 4 here because 2 is the one everyone knows and it's in every single Genesis collection ever and I like that this time they were like, no, check out 4, it's actually better than 2. Uh, Mortal Kombat 2, Monster World 4 was great because that was never even released in America. I don't even know what Monster World is. It's a, uh, it's, there is, um, mon it's the Monster Boy series. Wonder Boy, Wonder Boy, Wonder Boy and Monster World, Wonder Boy, the Dragon's Trap. I don't really Trap. know that series either. I've heard, it, I've heard of it, but I don't know it. It was, uh, it was kind of obscure line of mostly arcade games, and it, it's a confusing game. But it, it kind of, they started doing remakes recently, so it kind of came back. There was, I really liked that they remade Wonder Boy 3 The Dragon's Trap but it also let you be a girl and then when you did that it changed the title screen to say Wonder Girl that was fun was Outrun in there oh no I added Outrun that's too bad Outrun's fun <laughs> I just <laughs> I just got into Outrun I'm like hey that was uh, um, the other day me and my daughter had an adorable time I've just been having so much well, fun playing this with my daughter like sitting on the couch passing the controller taking turns in Outrun playing toe jam and earl together which i had never played before this game slaps you know about yeah, toe jam it's and really earl? fucking good i've been i yeah, i've been a fan of toe jam and earl since i was like six cool yeah um yeah let's get uh, this, 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 this echo times that you know i had to add power rangers the movie the game and oh yeah that one it does have this though mega man the wily wars which is the first three mega man games and, oh, that's uh, cool. It's all three? Yeah. Nice. Every time I've played this game, it's always been in an, a ROM, but it's always had massive slowdown, but this one doesn't have that, so I don't know if they, like, hacked the ROM or the emulator or what they did. Or if I just um, had a bad ROM before. I don't know. Echo is... Oh, oh we should have read that. Oh, I there'll didn't... Be, I'm sure there'll be enough reading to do at the beginning of this. So I didn't see any... Oh, oh, because you mean there was a... Uh... You're yeah, it was just like the sample about. text that, like, when you selected it from the menu. Oh, you know what's great? This wow. sample text, I hacked this in. This, I don't know where Hackchi pulls this from, but what's so cool about Hackchi, which is the program you can use to hack this thing and the NES and SNES classics, is that it grabs the box art and a description from the database and, like, release date info and stuff. Echo is older! This is an older, wiser Echo! Oh, Older, yeah. stronger, and engulfed by dangers. The evil vortex has shattered the mystical asteroid. What the fuck? 
Echo and Trellia, <gasps> a beautiful dolphin of the future, cross 100 million years of time to save the dolphins and all of life on Earth. Holy shit, Echo morphs? What? Change a meta charge a metasphere to become a shark with all its fighting power. Change into a seagull and fly. What? Yeah, this game's wild. I feel like we the should. Maybe we should have read that. You should have just surprised me with it. I mean, I did. Uh, I oh well, I didn't know it was gonna give like, yeah, uh, like I, I didn't know that it was gonna have spoilers in there. Yeah, I see. Um, I just saw that it was. I thought it was gonna be like Echo is older and wiser and blah. I was gonna be a plot. <laughs> Echo is older and wiser. He fucks now. <laughs> um, neither of the Genesis, uh, or I guess uh, none of the Genesis. Oh yeah, um, I totally haven't played this. Wow. None of the Genesis games are my favorite Echo games, oh. which are it's Echo the Dolphin Defender of the Future. Oh sure, um, but I did really enjoy them as a kid. Woo! Ah, yes. My how fucking fun is that? God, it's so good. My daughter and it remained good. They like kept that. They like did that. Uh, you know what's funny? I, I, we talked about this during the Manhunter stream, or the sorry, the Man Eater stream that I never put out. Um, uh. I thought and, it was archived uh, automatically. What's that? I thought it was archived automatically. I think it's unlisted. If you if you're a if you're a Patreon member at contentburger.biz, you have access to it through the archive that Spoilers. is Spoilers. Just catching you up on previously on Echo. The oh, asteroid okay. gave you the power to defeat the vortex and save us all. Thank you. Thank Good you. to know. I hey, I know you. Didn't the asteroid didn't give you the that. power of the vortex to save us all? I don't fucking know. I didn't finish the first one. It's really long and really hard. I do have a copy of Echo the Dolphin uh, for Sega CD that I got on eBay. Um, it is good to be back in the cool waters of Earth. Nice. Uh, if you don't remember from when we played Echo 1, oh, there's no the oxygen dolphins are this. really creepy. <laughs> The, the other dolphins, those two have been relatively normal, but the dolphins are um, really kind of uh, They're uh, not... unsettling to talk to. No, not really. No, they say weird shit. They I say think, stuff like... I think they just speak rather cryptically, and the idea is supposed to be like, yeah, you know, they're animals, but I, maybe as a kid it's kind of like... This game's unsettling, or the original at least, I can say, is unsettling as a kid. You're right. It has It has a very weird vibe to it. Yeah. Um, which is why I downloaded Echo Jr. Because I thought that would be better for my daughter. But it was pretty fun. She brought it to my mom's house to show, show it off to my mom and grandma. And uh, I was like, yeah, load up Echo Jr. And my daughter didn't want to. She wanted to show off the original Echo so that it could show like the aliens like kidnapping the dolphins and stuff. I'm like, my daughter, <laughs> my daughter knows what's cool. She knows what's up. Um. It's funny, like, kids are really... I, I have never seen a kid that, like, even after seeing, you know, mo modern video games, had a Ooh. hard time with... This is, this is Trellia. The sea is filled with teleport rings made only for you by the Atlanteans. Thanks, Atlanteans. Yeah. Oh, it's not Trellia. It's just some other fucking uh, dolphin. It did look like some sort of mirror thing. Yeah, it looked on. like an important it thing. Yeah. Uh, maybe it was. Maybe you couldn't get past without talking. It just was... No, it was. was like, oh, you just need to know about these portals. Yeah, that's what it was. Like, I thought there was more significance to just being like Mido in Ocarina of Time being like, you can't leave without a shield. Um. What? What? Oh! <gasps> Keith. Yeah. Are you seeing this? Yeah, I'm seeing it. Total perspective shift. Girl. How am I... Try to get the Nautiluses. These? Is that, am I supposed I thought, to do that? I thought maybe you could get Oh, those. okay. It's the B button. Got it. I like wasn't sure what was... Oh, uh, the the controls of Echo are weird. Echo the Dolphin One is a really strange game because it doesn't 
it, it doesn't really live up to its concept. Like, really, the whole game survives on it's rad that they made a game about a dolphin and it's really fun to swim as that dolphin. But, like, yeah. nothing else about the game is really worthwhile. It's, it's kind of like the world's m slowest and most annoying puzzle platformer. Uh, and the levels are really boring and samey. Uh, but there's a strange addictive quality to it, at least for me. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, so what I was saying was, um, like, Echo this goes for on. Echo for the Dreamcast, Defender of the Future, has um, like such a weird or such like a like such a feeling of momentum ah. that at least in my memory from the last time I played Defender of the Future a couple years ago, like it feels so much more real and feels so good to jump around. That like it even makes Man Eater, which came out like two months ago, feel like <laughs> ass. Yeah. Um, and 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 even these games kind of have that. Like you kind of feel like your dolphin has some weight, and that you like, and you need to escape the water. You can't just jump. Yeah, you have to like yeah. push out. Or you, you have uh, to yeah, you have to have like appropriate breaching velocity. Yeah. Um. So I was going to tell you about the thing that I've been seeing that's funny on YouTube. Oh? I keep seeing this. I'm sure you've heard of Vine compilations? Vine compilations. Yeah. Like when you you take vines, you tie them together and make a big rope so you can climb in the jungle? No. Like the videos. And you have 10 minutes of 7 second long videos from Vine. Oh! Videos started. from Vine. Yeah, I know those. Yeah. So... If you're if you're a channel and what you want to do is put a bunch of vines together and say, you know, hey, this is a vine this is a vine compilation, um, <sighs> you're gonna need to figure out how to get views. And at first, you'd be like all the funniest vines, right? Right. And then it'd be like <laughs> gra the greatest vine compilation of all time. Okay. And you just keep having to escalate like yeah. how good your collection of vines are. And the current trend of vine compilations. Um, is you have to claim to have all of the rarest vines. <laughs> 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 it's, it's just such a funny idea to me. That it is like like a <laughs> ten minute long video that's called like like most rare vines, all the rarest vines. <laughs> to be clear, to be clear, at the time of this recording, the website vine.co has been shut down for like four years. Yeah. So it's Whoa. Do it. I told you they were creepy. Okay, that dolphin is creepy. Uh, Vine's been shut down for four years, and and, and so, so now there's there's a limited supply of vines. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Vi the vines are breaking down. <laughs> supply vines have broken down. Um. Yeah, I, I just thought that was it's just a really funny because, like, on one hand, like, yes, digital. Like digital content disappears from the internet, um, and and there's a point where it's like, oh, you know, it's harder to find that vine of the girl who gets woken up by water getting poured on her face. Sure, and she goes, "Hello." <laughs> it's harder. <laughs> harder to find is, that. <laughs> it's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my whole life, and it is harder to find that than it was when that was just on a on the website Vine, right? But it's just so funny, the idea ah, that there's, like, you see what seven I did? seconds is, is extremely rare seven seconds of video. <laughs> yes. Fucking up the shark. See that? Oh, no, not yeah. anymore. Yeah. You killed that shark, that first one, at least. Dolphin murderer. You gotta eat those that? fish. What? Eat, eat fish? fish? <laughs> is, is that how I heal? I think so. Ah. Did it work? Yeah. Yeah, that's how you heal. What? What? Are you seeing this? Yeah. Nonsense. You weren't doing it right. Oh, they just respawn like this. They just respawn. Okay, yeah. Never mind. It is not a room clear. I love a room clear. I want to clear rooms. That's the real problem. So I don't know what the fuck is going on. 
you've got to go. You have to explore the map and find your way off of this page. I thought I did that already. It's telling me shit about crystals. But I missed what it said about the crystals, and now I don't know what to do. Uh, can you talk to them? No, there's just a person that says do it. Oh, uh, that's a shark. Can I talk to you? Oh, wow. Oh, I you... haven't seen okay. you use your echolocation at the crystal. Yeah. It okay. just goes blah. And then there's one down here. And and this one is sparkly. And But when I do echo at it, it do nothing. And that's it. Well, there's more to the map that I don't think you've been to. No, there's not. There's just this. You haven't been to that that arrow on the far right that is yes, the arrow to I leave? Yes, I have. Thank you. You have? It's blocked. Is it? Is it this is. to the right? Wait, let me see the map. What? Look, I can't explain that one. Okay. That might, that might be a fe feature. I don't know. Yeah, it's a feature. Oh, oh, of course. Um, so, uh, echo... <laughs> Watch out, it's Excuse a big me. crab. Excuse me? You. The big crab hates you. Um, so my, it's my, a family of crabs, and they're pissed. They're pissed. They're really not hurting me. They are now hurting you. Okay, you got them now. Um, my daughter was showing off Echo the Dolphin 1 to my mom and grandma. You're also showing your Showing the grandma. kidnapping. And uh, showing the kidnapping. And that one you have to surface to refill your lungs with air. And that's where we got delightful for my grandma. Do dolphins need to breathe air in real life? Oh, <laughs> I didn't see and, that. And I let her know, yes, grandma, they do. <laughs> but they're fish. Yeah, not fish. They sure yes. look like fish. And yeah. Uh, to, in my grandmother's defense, my daughter also learned that fact from Echo, but it happened a few days earlier when she was five. It's not like 75 or whatever <laughs> grandma is. Mm, how old is grandma? Probably like 75. Yeah. I think she was born in 42. Um, do you have any other buttons? No, I just have the three. I have swim fast, I have attack, and I have echo. Ah! Hmm. What is square, do we think? Uh, when equipped rock, or when equipped with the correct song, sometimes lets you break rocks and other barriers in your path. So you have to equip a new song. Wait. Hmm. I thought maybe the pause button. Uh, hey, by the way, your cursor is on the inspire thing and it's blocking uh, part of the... Is right. that good? Button A, let out a song that lets you talk to other singers. Is, if you is your view better, song, Keith? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I said yeah. Okay. Um, you know, let's... Why don't we uh, take a check? Could check a different echo. We're moving on. I, I, <laughs> well, the first hint if you go to a game fact guide, the first hint is this is a tough game. Be prepared to have trouble with it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> uh, I love this. This uh, Genesis game, Frogger, released for the Sega Genesis. And you might think, what's Gen What's Frogger look like on the Genesis? Nor I bet totally normal. What is if you take a Frogger and you put it on Gen? <laughs> Well, first of all, it looks like that. It looks like that, but then it's just Frogger, though, actually. That was my guess. I was right. Here you go. It's normal. Why wouldn't it look like this? Because because this is an arcade game that came out in, like, 1978. And so this everything you're seeing and hearing here was, like, 15 years old at the time, and it's weird. Well, I mean, it's I actually, get... to be clear, this is good. I don't want anything else. I wanted this, so I'm happy. 
It's just weird. Yeah. <laughs> it's just weird as all. I don't know. I think in 2020, it's obvious that what people want to do is play extremely old games in their original form. Right. And so I can see why that would also have been true in the 90s. I, I guess what I just mean is normally when I see an arcade game translated to a home console, it's like they're trying to copy it. But what's weird about this one is oh. it's just literally like pixel for pixel the, the arcade game. And I'm just like, what's happening? Like uh, like Prince of Persia for the Genesis, which I added because I like it. But that's a weird game. Prince of Persia is just Who's weird. that dog? Dog. Bottom oh, right. Oh, this. That's an... Bottom left, I mean. Sorry. Arm Armadillo? Rocket Ro Knight Adventure. Rocket Knight Adventure. That. This one is uh, not included in the collection, but I added it because I just heard it was a game people liked, and I had never played it. And I played, it, played for, it yet? Played it for a few minutes, and I was like, yeah, this is good. This sure, is, seems good. Sick I'm game. convinced. Yeah, it's good. I like it. Rocket Knight, you heard it here first. Let's get back to the main menu. Pick a new game. No. Let's... Let's go with uh, with our guy here. Check him out, huh? He's got a sword. Look at that. Ooh, I'm yeah. liking that. I'm very liking that. Who's not this liking is like that? what if someone put turned a kangaroo into Mega Man and then gave Mega Man a sword. Uh huh. This is one of those games. This is one of those games where like the character has a name and the character's name is kind of more well known in the game, but. I don't know it because it's not for me. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? What's not for you? The name isn't for you? I just didn't play it as a kid is what I mean. Oh, so I okay. have, I got a, a boost up. I can do one of these guys. That's all right. Just uh, feels really good. Good control on this one. Ooh. My cat is next to me screaming to be given attention. Give me attention. Give me attention. She goes, ah, ah, ah. Here's the problem. I would like to I would like to listen to her and give her the attention that she obviously wants. Mm -hmm. But I I'll put her on my lap and she will spend the entire time on my lap trying as hard as she can to climb up to like my neck and sit on my neck. <laughs> Oh, cricket! This is. Yes, yeah, cricket. Oh, okay. Oscar doesn't want to sit on any. Yeah, I was gonna say it doesn't sound. Like Oscar it. wants to sit next to me and get pet once every four minutes. See, I, I just, I can't imagine cricket coming up to a person because anytime I'm there, cricket hides the whole time. Yeah. Oh, look at this! Oh, maybe he's—he must be a possum. Ooh, right. look at that! That's, That's cool. You can. That rules! Yeah. I bet you can slide and do like a jump onto the. Uh, oh, that sucks that you can't, like, get that arc upwards. No, well, we'll see. Maybe I got a rocket. We'll mm. Ah! Does... Oh, there you go. Yeah. That rules. What the fuck? I've never heard of this. I know, right? This game's good. I only learned about it because there was, like, a, a remake or a sequel that came out for XBLA back when everyone was doing that. Ah, what the fuck? What the? Whoa. Yeah, don't get stomped on by those chicken I ATSTs. I guess not. Shit. Oh, okay, great. Now I have to redo the whole level. Oh, I'm oh yeah. Okay. Now we're remembering games from 1993. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah, now you, you got them. Here they are. Very happy looking guy. Yeah, I love this guy. I, is his name Sparkster? Might be... Sparkster? Uh... Puppy Me gave us a quote from the creator of Echo. I was paranoid about game rentals and kids beating the game over yep. the weekend, so I uh, made it hard. Yeah, that's that's every <laughs> every game that ever drove you nuts as a kid. The developers are like, uh, the publisher was really concerned about rentals, so they made us make it super hard. Here's a thing I did. So I talked about Contra Hardcore. Yeah. Um, I went into Hackchi. I think all the other region games are included and they're locked. So I went and unlocked the Japanese version of Contra Hardcore just because in this one you get three hits before you die. And in the American one, you only get one because they just made it harder because 
there was no rentals in Japan, but there was rentals. It's so rentals. funny. <laughs> Maybe this is just my my impression as someone playing video games in 2020, and I'm not in the 90s anymore. Yep. And even when I was in the 90s, I was only a very young child that didn't have much control over what video games that I had, unless I was torrenting them, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, um, uh, or not torrenting at the time, just downloading ROM files. But, um, like, if a game was so hard that, like... I just had to try the same thing over and over and over again, especially yeah. games from the... Like, I wouldn't want to buy that game. Yeah. I wouldn't even rent it multiple times. I would just not get it. I <laughs> right. would just play something fun instead. That was... that. See, I think that's part of the magic of, like, Sonic was... Uh, I was watching my daughter play Sonic 2, and I, I don't know why. For some reason, she had kind of avoided Sonic for a bit. Like, I had definitely been trying to push it on her because I like it so much, but she had been like, no, let's play Mickey, let's play Mario, let's play anything besides Sonic. And I finally got her to try it, and she ended up beating the first level in the first try, like even, you know, the boss and everything. And I was, like, impressed, but also was like, oh, okay, right, this is why kids like Sonic, right? Is because you could actually beat it at first. <laughs> like, you yeah. could beat the first... It was the second level that fucked you over. That was another common thing, was, like, the game where the first level's easy and the second <laughs> level shit gets real. Um, for me it was the I could always beat chemical plant it was uh the third level and that was harder for me same for me but remember we got to chemical plant everyone was like oh that it's the rising water part people have trouble with yeah yeah um so I got into this game last year and I had a shitload of fun with it and I would have totally forced you to do a bunch of videos of it with me but the reason I got into it was because I started watching the Giant Bomb series where they played it, so it was just like, well, I would just be copying Giant Bomb. And I can't do that for every video series. Um, well, they've they've copied us enough times. Yeah, I, right? It's just payback at this point. Yeah. Um, it's just that they're extremely popular and we're not. Yeah. So it's hard to, it's hard to justify. Uh, what is this? This is Contra Hardcore. This is the Genesis oh, okay. Contra game. I think it's the fourth Contra game, and it's just it's just good. It's why it's it looks it's, hardcore. It's future sci-fi, and it's wild, and it's very hard. I got to the point where I could beat like three quarters of the game last year, but that was that was then. This is now. Contra Hardcore <laughs> will come at you fast. Here's Brownie. I should I should open my door to make sure that the UPS truck is going to get here. I'm I have to sign for a package, and if I miss the I miss it and have to like go pick it up from UPS store or have to get it redelivered, I'll be extremely angry. Okay, yeah, I have to remember how this works. Oh, it's A and B together makes it toggles whether or not you anchor to the spot. That's the toughest part of this whole game, is that you have to push A and B together to switch between does firing anchor you in place or not? So then I hit A and B and now I can shoot all over. Um, and that's tough. Jen, I just can't imagine what they were thinking when they put three buttons on this goddamn controller. Like, like I Nintendo put two buttons on the Famicom because they wanted to encourage simplistic arcade gameplay, and I think it really worked for them at the time. But like anyone who played a, a Famicom for more than two seconds knew it needed way more buttons. That's why Nintendo put six on their next one instead of two. Six is a lot. Yeah. Oh, these are infinite. Um. So I. This UPS thing that I'm waiting for, it uh, it came with, like, if I go to the delivery or uh, the, like, delivery details page, um, here's my delivery window. Before 9 p.m. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Who knows when? Not it, between midnight and 9 p.m., I guess, is what it is. I find, um, I find the concept of mailing things that need to be signed for somewhat psychotic. <laughs> Just like how yeah. I'm, how can I be home for this? I mean, well, now so we're here's in a the thing. Here's what I discovered: but... you can view delivery time window with UPS My Choice, so they know the time window, but you have to sign up for their UPS My Choice thing, which includes signing away UPS's liability for essentially anything. Are you seeing and... how worked I am getting by this game? 
Yeah. Yeah. Um. Did uh, where I heard you were getting you were getting worked. So did you did you hear what I was saying? About the windows, some you have to no. You there's a service where UPS will tell you the where, it'll tell you when you're getting your delivery, but you have to like sign over liability. Yeah, reason. so they know, but you yeah you have to sign away uh, their liability for for like a bunch of things. Um, and, and it includes like giving them access to your computer if they want it. What? Yeah, it's like really weird. Get out of here. Um, it's always uh, it's always good to know what's in those terms of service. Cause I didn't sign it. I was like, no, this is too. This is bad. No. Um, I lost. I can't find the page that I was. Um. I can't find the. I can't find the page that I was on that like gave a good rundown of the. Uh, terms of service. But it was a Reddit thread where someone was like, is this real? Like, what the fuck is this? Ugh. Yes. That's the shit right there. That's the one you want. Ah, get out of here. So what is it about this this uh, this Contra that does it for you? Well, I like the arrow gun. Yeah, I just I just think it's um, you know, previous Contra games were doing this stupid like pseudo modern military. Well, I guess it's always had aliens in it and stuff. It's always been kind of wild, but this is just wilder. It's it's sci-fi, but it's like very like tongue in cheek sci-fi it it's seems just like very goofy it seems really bolt like bullet heavy i mean that's contra right yeah it just feels more it feels like the bullets are smaller and faster i don't know if that's maybe See, just I, i'm pressure. i never grew up playing contra so i came to all of them pretty recently so like just in the last year has been my primary interactions with contra super contra and contra 3 and i kind of think most of those games are just like not fun like, I just ended up bouncing off of those because I couldn't really find a way to enjoy it. Uh, these ones I like. Uh, but what the best thing about this, actually, is that the first three Contra games all... Part of their thing is that there's two modes of gameplay. There's, like, side-scrolling, and then each one has... Like, the NES Contra has some kind of, like, behind-the-back section that comes in between every level, and the... Contra 3 on Super Nintendo does like a mode 7 top down thing every other level and it's like totally insufferable and this just doesn't do that which is great ugh uh, okay so here's the two here's the two parts of this uh, UPS terms of service that stood out to me um so there's software for the UPS my choice thing from time to time UPS in its sole discretion May, in response to your request, choose to provide support or maintenance for the software. Uh, you hereby authorize UPS and its authorized agents uh, uh, to prov in order to provide support services to access the software, other applications which you may use in conjunction with the software, Ooh. and your computer systems, either remotely via internet access or other means, uh, which may require the installation of additional software on your computer system by UPS. Uh, or through on-site visits at specific times you uh, 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 as mutually agreed on by the parties. So I don't expect UPS to decide to remotely access my computer <laughs> yeah. at its sole discretion. But it's just crazy. But it's, it's just crazy that they can. <laughs> it's crazy. And, like, they fucking might, though, re really. Yeah. Like, who knows? We... Uh, Honestly, it doesn't seem like, like something they would need to do. For real, like where we are in our society right now, I think we're well past the they probably won't though part of all of these things, right? Yeah. Like yeah. we're firmly in a place where people are starting to do things we never thought they would do. Yeah. Um, and then uh Let's see. Oh shit. Well, there goes that. 
check out this guy over here. We're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and shoot this guy. I like this arrow gun. It's just like yeah, it just fires in a cute angle. <laughs> Do you know about this boss already? You're standing yeah. in kind of a really good spot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've heard of this guy. Uh, this The thing that's tough about this gun is that there's... If you want to... With the arrow gun, if you want to turn around quick, you have to let go, turn, and then fire, because otherwise you have to do this. Like, if, mm. I push, if I just push left, he swings all the way around. So that's the tough thing with that one. What are these? Ooh, those come back. That's wild. And then what's this one? Oh, this one. This one's weird. But you can kind of just let it go. Wild. All right, cool. This is a good game. And this guy just has jump boosters. This is like the broken character. <laughs> it's like clearly better than everyone else because he's smaller, faster, and has like a hover Ooh, jump. That was cool. Yeah. Um, here we go. Here's the li here's the limitation of liability section. Not all of this is applicable. Um, the UPS party shall not be liable to you or any third party for any indirect, consequential, exemplary, punitive, multiple, incidental, or special damages, lost profits, loss of data, uh, or data use, lost savings, or costs, or profit substitutes, or or uh, or, or costs oh. of procuring substitute goods arising out of this agreement due to breach of contract, tort, oh. including negligence. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> including negligence. Including negligence. Yeah, we are not <laughs> not liable for our own negligence that ruins your shit. Uh, oh. del del delict. I don't know what that is. D e l i c t. Delict. Uh, or use of the UPS materials or otherwise. Even if the UPS parties have been advised of the likelihood of such damages occurring. Oh my god! Except for the limitations of liability set forth in the end user section 1.1 and general terms of conditions, uh, in no event shall liability of all the UPS parties for any damages, direct or otherwise, or penalties or loss, regardless of the form of action or claim, whether in contract, tort, including negligence, uh, dele delict, or otherwise of any type, exceed in the aggregate 1,000 United States dollars. Uh, any claim for damages in that in excess thereof being hereby waived by you. Oh, so they were saying. Wait. No, they're saying, in 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 the extreme instance where your damages are not covered or or are not covered by that list of the the <laughs> negligence etc. Oh, uh, where we are still thousand. liable, we are not liable in excess of a thousand dollars. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna, we're gonna do one more run on on this bad boy. And, and just and just to remind everyone, this is the thing that you have to agree with, just so that they will disclose to you their own delivery windows. By the way, Keith, you had to ask me like, what do I like about this delivery game? Attack. Look how it starts. <coughs> Where did you go? Uh, maybe that was his delivery. I couldn't. Didn't quite hear him. Oh my god, I'm already dead. We're restarting. Oh, here's a great thing. Uh, the <coughs> the one way. I mean, what's great about the Sega Genesis Mini is that it's uh, totally just as good as the NES and Super NES classics from Nintendo. Um, it's like maybe the one time I can ever think of Sega legitimately doing something as well or better than Nintendo in like any aspect of their business ever besides maybe successfully creating a popular mascot to rival Mario back in the 90s um, uh, but one way it's better is that um, there's a built in shortcut for getting back to the console main menu without having to push the reset button on the console itself which is holding the start button for 5 seconds which is nice um, but what's good about Hackchi is that Hackchi can add in that button combination for the NES and SNES classics. Uh, on those, they add in the ability to push like down and select button at the same time. Woo! Oh, 
Oh, come on. Here we go. That's hey, there's one. That's a classic for you. Oop. What the fuck? Yeah, so this game is just brutal and um it's even much harder than I remember. Um, so yeah, I really must have spent some time playing this game last year because I really got down a ton of this muscle memory. Whoa! You know, like that. <laughs> oh my god. And of course, the game gives you five continues to beat the game, but by getting a game over on the first level, you're just wasting them. Um, this was released... Well, I think all of the Contra games were released as Probotector in uh, in Europe, where they're like robots instead of... It, w it was basically like they, they <laughs> like depoliticized Contra by making it into Contra Hardcore, and then... But then once Contra Hardcore became Probotector, Probotector didn't know what to do with itself and like accidentally made Contra Hardcore worse by trying to inject Probotector back into it, and it, it sucks. I mean, I'm sure it's the same game, so it's still great, but... I only played it for two seconds, and I know that there's a <laughs> there's a graphical glitch on the on that cool face-morphing animation on the character select screen, so... Proof positive that they're trying to fuck around with the character roster of this game made it objectively worse. Here we have a uh, weak gun that makes up for its weakness by uh, clearly being a homing weapon. Well, that's nice. Um, yeah. This, uh, this whole level, though, really does get to be a drag when you're, you know, trying to beat this game. Because this guy right here that you beat by standing still and shooting up, like, yeah, I, I did this a lot. Keith is taking a while. Oh! Nice. Okay. Oh, for God's sake, why did I do that? Um, eh. Back, welcome back. All right, I'm back. Welcome back. I had to. I'm pretty sure chase if I just. Down. I'm pretty. Oh wow. Okay. I I so, I didn't understand why you left in such a hurry. I was like, what's yeah the, yeah okay. Well, because by, by between the time that I started reading the uh, the terms of service to when I was finished. The delivery was quote unquote attempted. Oh God, now, Kylie! If it's it, it, if uh, you you've been you've Whoa. been here a bunch oh, of times. Oh jeez. Can you can you imagine in your head <laughs> the distance between <laughs> my computer chair and the front door where there's a window that I had open <laughs> and my office door which was open that I could have possibly missed a fucking knock on that door? No. Yeah. Fuck what, off. What or who are you? What or who? I like that the what <laughs> came first. You can call me Dead Eye Joe. <laughs> Dead Eye this, Joe. This needs to be rewritten. There's no way that the what comes first. The who has to come first. Because the... What or who are you? 
Yeah, right? We who The research center is under attack by an unknown group. Please, come and help. Oh, that's right. You get to choose. What should we do? I know what Keith would pick. Keith is going to pick Rescue the Research Center. Where's Keith? Where'd I'm he right go? here. Huh. Oh, I didn't. Oh, go after Dead Eye Joe or Rescue the Research Center. Dead Eye Dead Eye Joe did, was did, did like Dead Eye Joe destroy the Research Center? No, Dead Eye Joe was like, "Haha, sucker!" And you're you can't catch me. And he took off. But then we got a call from our scientist friend, who's like, "Oh no, we're being attacked at the Research Center." You know, I believe I bet it's the same people. I'll go rescue the Research Center. Okay. I bet the same people are behind it. I knew I knew that Keith would pick this because he's a bleeding heart. Oh, what can I say? I'm just your classic lib. Yeah. Oh. Damn, at this speed, we'll never get there on time. I love, I love hey, voting. bro, looks like you're having some trouble. <laughs> I love savings accounts. The I air giants. Please. Joe Keith, Boner, Keith. Biden, Joe Shut Biden Shut the Boner. fuck up. Oh, my God. You're what? talking over classic fucking gold. The air police just showed up to help me. Thank God for the air police? Yeah, thank God for the air police. All, all cops except the air police <laughs> are bastards. It's no... Uh, I think we have to defund, not abolish, the air police. I feel that. Fang. Oh, one of the characters is a dog man. You can play as Chewbacca. What if Chewbacca was more of a dog? What? Uh, Paradox Persona said all the more reason to support the, the USPS. Fuck? Me? No. No, no, no. Oh. Sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, totally. The USPS is the what? only good part of the entire American government. And it, yeah. And it, um, I would say, I would add the, the sort of park system to that, but Oops. park rangers are cops and they hate homeless people. So if you got rid of park rangers, then it would be the USPS and cops. Or at least parks, not cops. Jesus Christ. Um. Oh, you remember slow-mo controllers? Do I? For people, for people too young to know slow-mo controllers, back when the start button would just freeze the game you could buy controllers that would just spam the start button like this and then it would just do slow motion good times i love the noise that it makes there we go whoa there we go that's the strat we found it my bad guys there's a lot going on when you're trying to do a stream. It's not a strat, it's a jazz master. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so good. Uh, that's what I got that's what I got delivered for the people in the watching the stream. Oh really? Yes. Nice. I told you about my I told you about my guitar project, right? I mean, yeah, you told me about it. I got uh I got a new uh, Squire put out these new mini jazz masters, which are their jazz master in shape only. Uh, they do not have the classic jazz master wide single coil pickups. They don't have the um, the the <sighs> separate bridge and saddle. They have the sort of strat bridge. Uh, they don't have the rhythm circuit. Um, but with the exception Jeez. of with the exception of the bridge, which I think is a little bit too much, I'm going to I, turn this into a real jazz master. Am I doing this wrong? What the fuck? I must be. What's happening? What am I doing wrong? I do, oh, I just really am missing. Okay, sure. Whoa! Wow, cool. Very cool. Very extremely cool. Out of tune, but it, the 
The strings are really light. This is uh this is my first electric guitar in like since like Yeah oh since like 2005, 2004, God. 5. Damn. You're having a little bit of trouble. Yeah, this game it's it's called hardcore, baby. It's a pun. C O R P S hardcore. The hardcore. Oh, like hard corpse. Which it should be you should call it hard corpse. Because of all the bodies you're leaving behind. Yeah. Did you, uh... Alright, you want my first impressions review of the Fender Squire Mini Jazzmaster? Ooh. H -H? Oh, it, it's a Squire. It's a Squire. Yeah, Squire makes the Mini Fenders. Okay, and you and you like a Mini because you're a small. Your hands are a uh, small? Well, so Your arms are a couple, small. There's a couple reasons why I got the Mini. First of all, uh, I can make a, a oh. better sounding Jazzmaster with the Mini and putting, you know, $250 worth of components inside it that I can with just spending oh, $400 right, right, on right. guitar. Yes. Also, the Mini Stratocaster was my first electric guitar um, back in uh, 2004 mm -hmm. or 2000, no, sorry, 2002. Um, and uh, I play I play a, a three quarter sized par parlor acoustic anyway. So I was like, yeah, it'd be funny to have two mini guitars. Um, and also, I think it's inherently funny to have like a, a like a really souped up like mini squire. <laughs> uh, I think it's just like inherently funny. Um, so that's that's why. So, whoa, it's kind of dirty. You know what? I don't think this is the route that I normally took when I would play it before, but I could be wrong. Oh, there's, there's there's plastic on this. It just really well sealed. It's not dirty. Oh. I like this. <laughs> Another perspective. This is this is uh, Tides of Time all over again. Oh. Uh, is that... Well, we got one more. I mean, come on. If we got one more. I guess I gotta go with Sheena. Maybe I was having good luck. Sheena's weapons aren't great. I like the background is just that fucking building from Blade Runner <laughs> over and over and over again. <laughs> Blade Runner really was the bible for like cyberpunk visuals for like an entire decade Ever? and a half. And if you so, watch a lot of uh, guitar videos on YouTube, You'll see people who review guitars and they they get they go to peel off the plastic that's on the fret uh, oh, the, the yeah. pick guard yeah. and they and the uh, and the pickups oh, shit. and they go this is my favorite part and they peel it off. <laughs> They're lying. It's the worst part. What? Peeling off plastic <gasps> that's screwed into a fretboard oh. that is also underneath six strings God, is yes. tough and it sucks. That sucks. It's it's not satisfying at all. No, no. It, d d Cellophane that is screwed into something should be illegal. That is just a crime. Although, you know what? It's possible that it's not screwed into nicer guitars. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that I'm makes, just not that remembering because I haven't... I actually have never bought an... Uh, or, yeah, the, the only new electric guitar I've ever owned was uh, that mini Squire from 2002. <sighs> How is this? You still loving this? Um, I'm not loving it for the stream, obviously. I'm not like... I'm having fun. I'm just bummed that I'm stuck on just this level for the whole thing. But we're done with hardcore. Now, where's, where's, where's easy core? I mean, I do literally have the easier version of that game. Oh, this you you were doing the American version. I was doing the American version, yeah. You know, gotta go hardcore. But here here we have another one. Um, Castlevania Bloodlines. I think I unlocked maybe the Japanese version of that one too, or maybe I just didn't care enough to do it. But that that was another one where either just the Japanese one or the Japanese one and the European one are both easier, and the 
American one was made harder on purpose. And guess what? It's too fucking hard. <laughs> uh, but let's play that one. You know, people people like it. People want it. Um, people are screaming and for it. To be fair, maybe I'm a little butthurt about Castlevania Bloodlines because I had never played it, but I loved Castlevania, and I saw an inbox. And you had always heard that it was the best one. I had always heard that it was a good one, at least. And I saw it for an inbox copy for $35 at a pawn shop. And I went, yeah, I'll get it. And I took it home. And I was just like, yeah, it's like not that much fun, though. How much time did you put into it? Uh, I, I've put a... It's, I've come back to it since then and put a few more hours in. Probably less than 10. Maybe it gets... Maybe it grows on you. It doesn't. It doesn't. And I... Well, I've, maybe now it will. I watched the Giant Bomb series where they played through the game and they agreed. <laughs> Um, I love uh, I love the look of this game. Uh, this is the only Castlevania game to take place in this time period, and I think it is the like 1910s. I think it's World War One era. Well, they can't quite decide because they say it's World War One era, but a lot of the designs feel slightly older. Um, I think part of the problem I have with this game is it just has it has real Genesis sound syn syndrome. It has all the hallmarks of, it has the visual and audio hallmarks of people that aren't used to working with the Genesis. Um, and so it's just, it's not a pretty game and it's not a good sounding game. And so, and it's, it's also just not as much fun as the other Castlevania games. I just don't know what people see in it, honestly. Um, it is fun though, there's the second character who doesn't have a whip, so technically that's always novel in one of these classic Castlevania games. Well, no whip. Well, I guess that's not technically true. There's, they started having plenty of extra characters. Uh, wow, we're going with the A button, huh, guys? Okay, sure. What's your criticism there? Uh, it's just an awkward button on the controller. Most games use a for the tertiary function, not one of the, like, you know, two. Gotcha. I'm, I'm sure I can fix it in the options or not. It's just, it's just weird because it's one of those games where it goes against some of the aesthetics of the series. Like, you're not collecting, you're collecting these gems, which is not a thing you normally do in Castlevania. It's kind of weird. And you can hear the, the sound when I hit one of these things. This this is the thing <laughs> hitting candles is the thing you do more than anything else in a castlevania game so you want it to be really satisfying and the sound is just a, it's just a crime it's it's like a it's like a baby robot toaster crying show me again here here it comes ready yeah it's bad it sucks it sounds like a gen 1 pokemon <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a Viridian City Pokemon where it just shows up and goes. Bleh. Ooh, that's. Fun. Ah! I like I like that item though. That's a good one. Ugh. It's just there, nothing about that sound is satisfying. Like, why would you ever pick that as the? Of uh, like I, I the only thing I can think of is that they planned like their sound channels poorly and just went like oh no we don't have we don't have a sound channel left for the hit stuff sound how do you do that last though you god like it sounds be... so bad i hate that now i just figured out why i hate this game it's only that <laughs> <laughs> Oof. No! Oh boy. Hi. Ah! 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 Oh! 
Oh, damn. That's oh. a cool looking boss, though. Yeah, it is. I like that scary dog. Yeah. Mm. Truly brave to take a dog, man's best friend, <laughs> and t turn him into such a foul beast. Totally, it's twisted. Yeah. The twisted world of Castlevania. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Oh. Ah! So that guy was maybe not that hard. Oh, was that a mini boss? No, it wasn't. Okay. Oh, maybe it was. What? Oh, okay. There we go. See, look at the stair climbing animation. It looks atrocious. Show me. Um. It's just like, I don't know, man. I played like every game in this series. It's just like not a good looking one of these. Look at this. Oh my god. It's it so, so fucking bad. bad. <laughs> it's not even like bad in a goofy also, way. Like on I NES, like... it looks stupid, but like just because they made it that way, that looks like they fucked it up. I also like that they, it looks like they tried to give some depth to the stairs by just making the top of the stairs be like a tw like a third of the way into the platform, but it just looks bad. It oh yeah. Look well, I yeah, I think I think the stairs are always like that in Castlevania, but they don't look quite as stupid. Uh... I don't know if this is going to hurt me. It sure looks like it's going to hurt me. Can I... Uh, you can tell from the spikes that it will hurt you. Okay, guess not. Oh. But this one with spikes obviously will. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. So what are you doing? I guess you're checking out your new guitar. I was just I was just sort of fiddling with it, yeah, looking it over. I'll pay more attention um, now. I actually love yeah. to pay more attention. Okay. I got these uh actually yeah. what I was doing specifically was I I was putting uh I bought I bought new knobs. Fender, it doesn't matter how much money you spend on a Fender, basically, the knobs <laughs> for the tone and the volume okay. uh, are just shitty plastic all the time. Um, and so I bought I bought ni nice metal knobs to put on on the um, uh, the tone of the volume. And they are just a lot bigger than Ooh. the picture made them look. And so they I was putting those on, and they just look kind of goofy. <laughs> so I'm probably going to return them. Um, or I don't know, maybe I'll keep them for something else. They turn real smooth, though. They turn like a dream. But they're just too big. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's just like every sound effect. Like, it's not just one or two. Every sound no, effect in this every... game is just... It's just bad. Like, every time. Oh, fuck! Did you just get ate by something? What was that? No, it was a crumbling bridge and I fell off of it. Whoa. Oh, this is something I can hit, I think, and like encourage it to go higher. That's fun. Oh. Oh, no. No whatever's crystals? Jesus. Cool. 
cool. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, okay. Well, in fairness, I guess it does make sense to turn the hearts into gems, because it doesn't make sense that your ammunition for your sub-weapon is hearts. I guess I do have to grant them that. What do you have to grant them? That in most Castlevania games, the pickup item that serves as the ammunition for your, like, extra weapon are hearts, and that just doesn't make sense for the thing you're picking up to refill your ammo. And so... Uh, yeah, that's always been totally strange. Yeah. And this game changes them to gems, which makes sense. It's more more sense than hearts, but it still bothers me because... Look at his feet. They're just not even high enough for the stairs. Look at his feet as he goes up. Yeah. Yeah, it's bad. It's like you're walking on the middle... Like, no, look, it's his like feet... It's like the bottom full, of the step. Full on go through the Can you the stop steps. in the middle of the step? Can you stop? At the bottom of his foot is like off of the side of the step. Yeah, it's, it's through the stairs. Anyways, it makes sense that it's gems instead of hearts, but it's annoying because it's the only game in the series that does that. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'll go with the boomerang. The boomerang, I don't think, is in, like, other games in the series, which is too bad, because it seems good. Except against this guy, apparently. Oh. Oof. Oof. Yay! Here's a weird note. I have a note on this do, guitar. Do, 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 do. Ready What's for your... a weird note? Hey, stage one cleared. That was nice. that was level that one. That was stage. That was all stage <laughs> that one. Was level one. Wow. Here's a here's a weird note for this guitar. There's no fifth fret harmonic. What's that mean? Uh, well, there's like there's the note, a like strings. the marker. There's a cut, yeah. There's a couple strings that it's easiest to do harmonics on, and for for me, I've always thought it it was the twelfth fret was the easiest, and the fifth fret was pretty much the same. And then there's like the seventh fret and the third fret are kind of tougher to do. Um, uh, but there's no fifth fret harmonic on this guitar. Here's what it sounds. I don't know if you can hear this at all, but here's what it sounds like on this, the twelfth fret. Here's what it's supposed to sound like. Wait, real real quick. Yeah. So real quick, this um, level starts out with this visual effect that I totally love and is very cool so I will grant it that Ooh. I mean it's still Castlevania It's still Castlevania. It's still Castlevania. You know, I'm not kicking and it, it out of bed. It is Avania. And it, it, it is, it, and there is it castles. Is, I mean, it's in Europe, you for God's sakes. It, and if you think about it, it is Avania. It is, yeah. Um, this might have been the one... This might not even been called Akumajo Dracula in Japan. It might have been called Vampire Killer. Cool uh, name. Which, which is a, a name that the series is sometimes called. Uh, and yeah, it is totally a cooler name. Or no, yes. It's weird because like it was called Vampire Killer in Japan. I think it was called Castlevania the New Generation in Europe. And, but then... I think Castlevania Vampire Killer might be a different European title for another game in the series. And that's Castlevania Bloodlines. Jonathan Morris. My favorite oh, in yours, no, Castlevania Bloodlines. Notable as one of the first uh, Castlevania, it's usually about the 
Belmonts. This one was about someone named Morris, and then there's a few more about Morris's after that, because that it, like established that the Belmonts became essentially became the Morrises at some point. Very exciting Castlevania lore. What do we got next? What's on the list? My um, star, everyone's have, favorite. Sh I added that. Shining Force 1, but not 2. I added 2. Um, I'm in favor of that because I think Shining Force 1 is good. Got Sorry, fun. which one did you say you were in favor of? Shining Force 1. Okay. I like it. Yeah, sure. Streets of Rage 2. That one makes me a little sad because I like Streets of Rage 1 better, but I'm the only person. Oh, here's well, one. The... Uh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say that's the that's the problem with ha having sort of a more curated selection. Yeah, but I'm okay with it. Um, Story of Thor is one that's only in the European version, but I unlocked it here. Um, I'm not sure we ever got this game in America. I don't know. And there's a uh, Puyo Puyo on the Japanese one, but uh, on the American one, it's. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, but I turned them, I turned Puyo Puyo on because my daughter is familiar with it from Puyo Puyo Tetris on the Switch, so. Requests? Okay, I'll pick a game. Oh, I thought that you said that you wanted to do Shining Force 1. I thought we already... No, no, decided. I was just saying I like it. Oh, okay. Um... What what is uh? We, I don't think we've. I mean, it's it's a boring one because there's not anything like super exciting about it. But we've never shown off Sonic Three Complete for Run Button. I don't think. I don't. We've I also mean, never shown Toe Jam and Earl. That's an interesting one. But it's. I mean, it's two player game. It's boring with one person. But well, let's let's just show it off because I what's think it's that. What's that one that's two before? What's Thor? I just explained that uh, it's one that's only on the European one because I'm not sure it ever even came out here, so I don't know. Oh, that was that one? Okay. Yeah. Um, um, it has Thunder Force 3 instead of 4, which is Lightning Force, um, which is too bad because it doesn't seem nearly as good, but I added in Lightning Force. Let's do uh, Toe Jam and Earl. Okay. This was a game that <laughs> I just never tried as a kid like I saw at rental stores sometimes and I never got it because I just didn't understand what the fuck it was um, and understandable because what it is is what it is is a roguelike uh, which is totally normal now but at the time but, it was bizarre yeah. for especially for a console audience there's some uh, and then this game had like this very, very sort of like half-assed sort of like hip-hop aesthetic to it, um, which was cool at the time. But just as a kid, I was just like, I don't, is this for adults? I don't know. I don't get it. You know, when you're um, like a kid, you just don't know what it, things for adults are. Is this for adults? I just knew there were some Genesis games that were for adults, like Mortal Kombat's for adults. Toe Jam has a gold chain on. Is that for adults? I don't know. Is that for adults? I think that's for adults. <laughs> Um, uh, there's some there there is some recent Toe Jam and Earl controversy that I don't understand, oh. but I think it has to do with someone being a massive piece of shit or something. Yeah, there's somebody who's a massive piece of shit who is involved in the production of the new Toe Jam and Earl game. That's really too bad because I heard that game's pretty good. Um, um, but that's that's what I know about them. I think they're just some kind of like abusive person. I think maybe like emotionally manipulative type of person like that. I don't know. Perhaps, I don't know. I don't want to guess. Bad person. But that has nothing to do with the original Toes, Toes Jam and Earl? No, no, that's only the new one. Uh, Cause this, this that that person is like someone our age. Um, so what's cool, they, they take this, um, so this has been totally great to play with my daughter. It's a, it's a co-op um, roguelike here kind of slow paced and what's really cool is it has dynamic split screen which I can't well actually yeah, I could show off by plugging in the other controller it's just really cool you never see dynamic split screen in a game this old it's wild so like when you're close together 
Tojam and Earl are both on the same screen, and then when you get far enough apart, it splits out into split screen. And then combine that's back sick again. for yeah. a game from what is this ninety two? Yeah, it's nuts. Um, no, this is like ninety. Wow. Yeah. Earl is on oh, vacation. Oh, Earl's on vacation. <laughs> Toe Jam is a wiener, and Earl's on vacation. Yeah. So like level one is wiener. Instead of instead of having character levels, you just get like different insults. Basically, you become like a doofus at some point. Um, yeah, I think, I think, uh, Toe Jam and Earl, like, the whole visual aesthetic of Toe Jam and Earl is so indicative of, like, something that just can, I was just such a weird kid that things that were too irreverent confused me. I was like, what's going on with this? Where is the reverence? <laughs> and now, and now I can just look at this and, and understand, like, oh, there's really nothing to get about this game. It's just wild. What the it's fuck random. just happened? So random. This game is rando. What just happened? Is this... Is this the game? Oh, this is the game. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't remember I... uh, uh, Toe Jam dying? I somehow started a game really fast. So here I'm just like doing both controllers. They get hurt by water, but might be worth it. So they, the, this is a, a pretty classic style roguelike, which um, if you haven't played a lot of those, they really emphasize that the items are random every time, that you, you don't know what an item is going to be by looking at it visually, and that's represented in this game really smartly for kids by making them presents. So that's something my daughter has had no trouble grasping. It's like, oh yeah, it's a present. You don't know what's inside until you open it. That's been really cool. Mm. Um, and so all the... Thankfully, blind boxes have also helped children yeah. understand roguelikes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, do you not love those? <laughs> oh, no. Why? Why does, does it sound like I don't like it? Yeah, it sounds like you don't like it. Ah, see? Hint, ship piece here. So the thing is, uh, these are aliens that crashed on Earth and their ship... Yeah, classic. Aliens crashed on Earth, their ship broke into pieces. You have to get the pieces. Uh, but, but what's also weird is they're they're weird gar garbage boys. That's the twist. Um, oh, here's a telephone which like uncovers part of the map. Um, so that's nice. And here I'll show your off friend some of calls the... you to explain where you had where things are. Here's the split this is the dynamic now. split screen you're yeah. talking about. And so now when I come back, it kind of does like a quick boop. Uh, but it's not so bad, you know. It's like a, it's it's rougher than you know Lego, Star Wars, whatever. But for 1990, it's incredible. Um, and you know, it's a little slow. Like I think even playing this with another adult nowadays, this would probably get old unless we both had nostalgia for it. But with my daughter, it's been really cool. So in the menu here, these are the presents I picked up, and they're all question marks. Um, so I'll try it. Oh, great. That one was a fucking cloud of bees that just showed up. So the presents aren't always good is one of the things. Um, <laughs> uh, so, but now if you look here, oh, the, the package now, the name is filled in. Now that I've opened one of them, I guess that was called Earthling, which maybe, sound, maybe Earthlings are the enemies. So I'm sure if I pick this one again, it'll spawn some different enemy. Or maybe not. Maybe it decided one was enough. Oh no, there it is. It's invisible. It's a horrible fucking invisible asshole. And if you fall off the edge here, as Earl, Earl will go back down to level one, but uh, Toe Jam stays on level two. And so now you're just totally, you're separated even by level. So like when Toe Jam opens the map, you get level two. When Earl opens it, you get level one. Um... And that's been really cool because there um, aren't a ton of two-player games that like give you that level of autonomy um, in terms of games that you can play with little kids. So that's been really cool that like my daughter will fall off the edge and get separated from me and she has to figure out how to get back. Um, I, uh, I like so don't remember this game, even though I played a lot of it, again, as like a seven or eight-year-old. Jammin'. Um, it's, it's minimally violent. My biggest problem I have with the game is that 
You're really defenseless against the enemies. Sorry, I got a plane going overhead. Uh, you're really defenseless against the enemies. Um, and some of the items help you fight them, but they're pretty few and far between, and they all have, they all are timed items, so they go away. Here's a, got spring shoes. That's good for jumping. A good jump. That's good for jumping. That's good for jumping. Oh, that is good for jumping. Yeah. Woo! You're, you're on quite a delay. Are you on Twitch? No, no, I'm I'm watching wow, the you're on a delay. jump, 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 jump. I just wasn't looking when you said when you first picked them up. Oh, okay. You see my big jump right there. You see that? Yeah, that's a big jump. Yeah, I'm no de no delay. Okay, I was actually concerned that oh maybe there is a delay, Ooh. but no, seems fine. Would that just warp me to the door? Oh, togetherness. Yeah, so there's an item called togetherness that warps you to uh, your partner. Oh, here we go. This is the good one. The wings. Yeah. Uh, and what's great about the items is that when you... Wait, isn't Earl right here? Oh, Earl didn't get it because he was in the elevator. But when you activate items near the other player, you both get it. Oh, and another fucking cool thing. Check this out. You can high five and share HP. So Earl's HP is low. And then they... How do they do? What, they walk at each other? How's this work? Yeah, and they high five, and then Toe Jam gives some HP to Earl. Nice. I just like I was just so impressed by this game. I felt like it was really ahead of its time. And it's just doing like I was like on eBay ready to pay like sixty bucks for like a box copy of this last night. But I was just like, this game's cool. I want it. Um, and then there's famously a sequel that's just a platformer, and supposedly it's not very good. Yeah, I've played that one too. I think it's fine actually. Oh, as okay. A, just, I don't, I, I don't think it's a good sequel to Toe Jam and Earl. No. I, I mean, think like, it's a fine platformer starring Toe Jam and Earl from Toe Jam and Earl. Yeah, I, I think obviously what they were going for was that probably people thought the characters seemed cool and then played the game and went, "What the hell is this? This isn't Mario." And they went, "Okay, just make it Mario, I guess." <laughs> But, like, man, what a bummer if you were a fan of the original Toe Jam and Earl, and then you got a platformer. Ugh. Um, Strider for the Genesis. Here's a game I'm sure looks nothing like this cover here. Um, 8 Mega Memory. This was a really expensive game, because it was so big. Yeah, just... Sorry, how big was it? Uh, it's eight megs. Holy shit, that's huge. I know. Can you believe it? Wait, no. I'm thinking over. I'm over here. No, thinking no, no. Like it could have six. Four no, it must megs. have been four. It must have been four. It couldn't have been eight. That doesn't make sense. There aren't eight. Me there is no such thing as an eight megabyte megabit. Um. Or what is it? Megabyte. There's no such thing as a higher than a four megabyte. There's Genesis no such problem. thing as a megabyte. Think about it. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, no. Conflict. <laughs> Villain. Oh, no. Communism. Future communism. Can you imagine? Not, yes, my, not in my Russia. <laughs> Ooh, I love that that happens over and over. What? That's a worse sound what? effect than Castlevania Bloodlines. Oh, I disagree. Ah! Okay. Oh. Huh! Fun game. Okay, cool. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, now, th now I see what this game is. It's just following in the, you know, it's just following in the Ninja Gaiden tradition of a platformer where you're a cool ninja. I mean, I knew what Strider was. It's just... It looks pretty good. This Genesis one feels pretty Ninja Gaiden on nes -E, kind of, but, you know, not as fun. Strider on NES sounded cool. It was kind of, like, non-linear. You, anyway. uh, you should play Shinobi. I could never been a big or ninjas. fan. Oh, okay. You're not a big yeah. fan? You're not a big fan of Shinobi 2? No. And uh, it's not even in this one. It's only Shinobi 3 because Shinobi 
Re Revenge of Shinobi, I did add it, but it had like two copyright infringing bosses. It had like Batman and Spider Man, and maybe some other stuff. It had Batman in it? Yeah, it was like every. Th I think late game bosses are like a bunch of pop culture references. It's copyright is so funny because like. You Let's know, play, uh, corporations want to protect their brand or whatever, which, you know, like, I I understand why a brand wants to protect its brand. But it's like, if you owned Batman, which makes tons of money for whatever fucking people own it, mm -hmm. um, how would having Batman just show up in some other game in 2020 <laughs> hurt your profits? No. How would that do anything but, like, I, like, ah, people didn't come see the new Justice League movie because they had <laughs> Shinobi on the Sega Genesis well, it's, it's Mini. Well, it's unclear because they might have even edited the ROM at some point to remove it. So I'm not even sure if they're... They might be omitting it just because it's, it's one of those things where they're like, we want someone to appreciate Shinobi 3. You know, we really feel like Shinobi 3 is a good game and people don't play it. This seems has pretty a nice good. Look, I mean, I'm not actually. saying this doesn't. You know what? I might not have ever even like played this game for more than two seconds, and this is pretty cool. I like calmly walking through the forest as you murder. Yeah, yeah I think I think that was the thing about Shinobi for me as a kid. I, it was just too slow. I'm like, why is this dude walking? I was just, you know, Sonic was my introduction to video games, so that was how I was tuned. Was like, why are you not running? Whoa. Yeah, this rules. I actually like this w way better than Revenge of Shinobi, I bet. But that I'd also have to go back and check. Get. Whoa. Whoa. Oh! Not, not gonna lie. If there, if there was a, if there was a run button, oh! it wouldn't suck. Oh, there it is. Hey, this is a, this is a good game. Hey, we just now you're fun. Now you're a thunder ninja. We figured out why this collection has Shinobi three and not two. Cause damn, I'm trying to remember if I've played this one. I'm sure I have because I know it's been in other Genesis collections. So like, why would I have not played it? Uh, meanwhile, a thing I just tried out again recently, um, because my daughter's been into this game, so I wanted to put it on the switches at her house so she could play those over there. The fucking Genesis collection on Switch is like one of the worst fucking like classic game collections I've ever played. And like this should be solved at this point. Like come on, it's a Genesis collection. What? Oh, okay, there's more. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. What the? F okay. I think I figured it out too late. You think you feel what? Oh, you weren't gone? No, I wasn't gone. I thought you just right left. Here. No. Okay. I wasn't even muted. Ah. I, 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 maybe I was just too engrossed in Shinobi. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you're, this is a really good look. I like the design of the guy too. Yeah. I'll, I I want to try Revenge of Shinobi again right after this, but like, I feel like this is just so much better. Oh, you know what I rewatched recently? Uh, Summer Wars. How's that? It's good. Yeah, it's good, right? Still good. Still good. Holds up. Yeah, you watching a lot of movies. You watch a lot. Of, you do a no. lot of quarantine movies. Uh, Anything no, so you're not a movie watcher. Really. No, I haven't been doing jack shit in quarantine. Like I've literally just been wasting all my time. I've been playing video games or building models. Well, actually, at first I was playing a lot of games, and recently I've been building models. But uh, damn things out of tune. Oh, Apparently, no. this damn thing's out of tune. Oh, no. What the fuck was I talking so, about? So you said Summer you Wars. have or haven't been playing video games or oh, doing models oh, or making oh. models. 
I haven't been playing any games recently. I have been doing models recently, but um, yeah. I saw your little. I saw we we talked about your what is it? Real guy. It was like real cool model, real deal model. Oh, the real grade Gundam. Real I'm still grade working on model. that. Still working on it. It's coming along. It's gonna look real sick. Real grade Mark II. That's a uh, that's the second Gundam. Ooh, it's in the name. It's not the smoothest animation, but it does look good. Oh, that looks sick. I love that. Yeah. There could um, be one more keyframe in there. Hey, man. What the fuck do I know about Genesis animation? You don't know why they were... Oh, man. That's so cool. I'm not saying they could have done it. Just that it would be better. Was there running in Revenge of Shinobi and I just didn't know because I'm an idiot? I Is think that so. The whole thing? Yeah. Pretty sure. Oh, okay. Oof. I can't be. I can never be positive about that sort of thing. What? Uh, uh, uh. Um. What I have been watching recently is uh, Gundam Wing because I'm gonna be on a Great Gundam Project again, so I'm catching up. Oh, you're gonna be on again? T yeah. Talking specifically about Gundam Wing, or are you yep. just because you? Okay. Um, so and you're gotta, liking it. I gotta catch up. It fucking slaps, dog. Eventually, what I'll work. I'll what watch a good another show. Gundam. Holy crap! People have it, like. I don't know why everyone's been talking this show down for so long. I wonder if it's just because we were all tiny children, so we couldn't appreciate how good of a show it is. Because like, there's all this political stuff going on, but it's so good. Well, I don't know. This comes up, and I I've, I've heard you disagree with me over and over on this. But there's just a thing where the idea that something's bad, like, infects a bunch of people's minds. I, and it's, and, I, and, that, and so you just go through years oh. where, like, everyone just agrees that something is bad for no reason. Yeah. Uh, or not for no reason. There's reasons. But it's like, it's like they're wrong. Like, a bunch of people are wrong and they hate something that they shouldn't hate. And, and, it, and it's well, because I think it's someone, also probably part of growing up. Someone with influence at some point Whoa. said that it was bad, and everyone like everyone just adopted their perspective, like well, not just the idea that it was bad, but also the things that that were. And then you just go like, oh, the things, the reasons um, I thought this were bad aren't actually important to me. Um, yeah, I don't know. it's the same yeah. thing with the prequels, with the Star Wars prequels. Um, because I think part of the Gundam Wing thing might be. I don't think it's particularly highly regarded by, like, Gundam fans in Japan. But looking at the air dates, that's probably because Gundam Wing was airing against Evangelion, which is way more interesting than Gundam Wing and is certainly more highly regarded. So that's probably why it wasn't that hot over there. Yeah, and, fair. You know, so... Um, But, uh, I still haven't seen that either. Yeah, it's just the the pitch I always heard on why Gundam Wing wasn't quite as good as some of the UC Gundams. I also haven't watched some of the UC Gundam stuff that people say is the most interesting. I haven't seen Double Zeta or Victory yet. Um, my uh, my Gundam experience is still only. War in the Pocket and Oath MS Team. Ah, that's not. Those are my uh, only two. You know, I love both of them. I thought they were both excellent. Yeah, War in the uh, Pocket's really good. Oath MS Team, I bounced off of after a couple episodes because it didn't feel as compelling as some of my favorite Gundam stuff. You watch, should watch uh, it. You should try it again. You still haven't finished it, right? I will, yeah. I, I'll probably get around to it when The Great Gundam Project does, um, just because that seems to be a pretty good pace for me to make my way through Gundam at. Um, I can't remember the I can't remember the name of the one that was on my list to do next. Um, something A. Turn A. Turn A. Turn Turn yeah. A is the is the next one I want to watch. Yeah, I heard that one's cool. Yeah, I sort of like went through and read a synopsis of a bunch of them. And decided that's the one that I thought sounded Ugh. the coolest. So, I've heard it's good. Yeah, I've, I've heard it's very good. Uh, it has one of the most, <laughs> to me, off-putting Gundam designs uh, in the series. But I, I've really come around on it. Uh, I don't know if you ever looked at it or not. 
It's like the Ooh. wild mustache one. Ooh, probably sounds dumb. <laughs> I I came around on it, like I said. I added lemmings. Lemmings. Let's kill some lemmings. Let's. Uh, I want to take a peek at Revenge of Shinobi real quick. See what's Ooh, going that's on. That's nasty. In there. Did you hear that? Yeah. That's some buzz on that low E. Uh oh. You don't want it just that. probably needs a small. I think it's the only. Oh my god! Did you see that? No, I missed it. I Holy saw shit! Thunderbolt. Okay, watch. Read the credits as they pop up on the screen. Spider-Man copyright Marvel Entertainment Spider -Man. Group. Spider-Man. They had to get. Spider-Man owns this. They had to get permission from Marvel to keep Spider-Man in the game. That might mean that this is a version with Batman removed. I don't know. Um, oh, another thing we could do, actually, because you had kind of mentioned being somewhat interested in, like, Sonic ROM hacks recently. Um, I have a ton downloaded on my computer, so we could just straight up show the process of hacking a new game onto this thing and then play it. Okay, so here's this. There is no run. There's a faster walk. I think this is regular walk. Is this faster walk? No, there's just walk in this one. So there's, there's a there's a there little, you there's have like a little extra step in there, right? No. It's uh he just has a little wind up. Well, now it. try, now do it. Uh, no. Okay. So there you go. Uh, we finally found a Shinobi game that I like. It's Shinobi Three. Is there is Shinobi One? Is that on the? Uh, is that on NES as well? Uh, no, that's a Sega game. So I don't think it. Well, no, because Sega was already doing their own consoles at that point, so they probably wouldn't. Have There's a Ninja the game for the I believe for the NES that I used to play as a kid. I don't remember what it is. What did you do in it? Uh. You were a ninja, you're dressed in black. There's a lot of jumping. That might have been Legend of Kage. Why don't you look that up? Legend of Kage. I remember that it was fast also. Fast. Hmm. I think. I think it was fast. You could wall jump at least. I mean, that was Ninja Gaiden, but it wasn't black ninja. Legend of Kage? Yeah. K-A-G-E. Yeah, I know how to spell Kage. Oh, oh yeah, of course. How could I forget? Of course, that's not what we knew it as back then. Back in the day, it was Legend of Cage, of course. No, uh, le le Legend of Kage is, uh... All right. This is pretty cool, though. I'm not gonna lie. Um... Just uh, fundamentally was never that interested in a game that was mostly about throwing. What are these kunai? Um, as opposed to having a sword. Also, I think when I was a kid, I just sucked at games. So I, I think a game with limited ammo for your primary attack was like extremely nerve wracking to me. It still kind of is. I had the same problem with a uh, Mickey. Castle Evolution. Uh, you know, it could have been. It could have been Ninja Gaiden. Could have been Ninja Gaiden. It could have been. It's a good one. It's so funny that I would like that I would play that, and then it would become a relevant game for like the uh, for like original Xbox. Yeah. I had that with a. I mean, Zelda was always relevant. I just didn't know about it. But I had that moment with um. Zelda with the original versus Ocarina like the first game I knew as Zelda was Ocarina of Time but then I went back and played a game that I never knew the name of and was like oh now that I can read I know this is called Zelda and it's a very old Zelda no I don't think it was Ninja Gaiden because I don't I don't recognize uh, like Ghouls and I don't Ghosts the, the first level I don't think I've played Ghouls and Ghosts on the Genesis Grabbed by the ghouls and ghosties. Keith, don't be lewd. I just had to cut a bunch of our old content. 
please don't talk about grabbing people by the ghoulies. How many things did you cut? Three. Three? Yeah. How many of them were your fault? How many were mine? Or they were all team efforts? Listen, we don't have to. <laughs> we don't have to keep score on this stuff. No, I, I now I'm very interested. That it... Of course, they all three of them were me. That's our thing. Really? Is that true? Is that our thing? Yeah, that's our thing. Are you the rude one that says inappropriate shit? Um, I'm, I'm the one who's way less cautious about the things that they say. Really? Yeah. How do I open this bad boy? Um. You're naked. Yeah. This guy, it's, uh, That's fucked up. It's a lewd game. You're gonna get grabbed by the ghoulies. <laughs> <laughs> How do I fucking open this thing? Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, God. You know what was fucking me up? I was trying to conserve ammo because I got into the Shinobi headset. <laughs> or headset. Oh, my God. <laughs> headset. <laughs> New Shinobi headset from Astro. Run button brought to you by. It's so funny because they they ported your big stupid arms. <laughs> You're so big. <laughs> You're like a shaved orangutan. Uh, the I don't know if this game is the same way, but the version of this game on the NES, it might have been another one of those examples. No, it wasn't actually. It was like this in Japan as well. Uh, where it was so hard because it was like impossibly hard and then when you finally beat the game it was like, good job, now beat it again but harder. <laughs> and, and that's the full game. You don't save the princess until you beat it a second time but harder. Oh my gosh, I'm old! Oh no! Is it a curse? Oh Did you God. find a curse? And does the implication of this old man imply that there's an extreme- And a fragile old man imply that there's an extremely tough baby that you can get transformed into? Ooh, I hope so. This doesn't seem useful. A weapon that flies away as you throw it. It's like, bye. Well, it looks really good for flying enemies, yeah, and true. but it's a, sort of like a melee weapon when you're up close. Oh, I'm a chicken. Oh, no. Oh, can you fly? No. No? Are the, the enemies are just, they're just, they just keep coming, right? Yeah. You're just like, you're retreating and just causing yourself more problems, I think. Mm. Who's keeping score, though, really? Uh, the game, and it's 5,700. <laughs> Ooh, this looks good. This looks good for Oh, me. that does look good. You look like maybe you could fly in that. I think this is the, I, I, if I remember correctly, I think the way this works is that like, this is the only one in the game. And so you have to like do real good to keep the armor for the whole time or something. Oh, okay. Bye. Oh, so no, I'm thinking sorry, of but else. no more of that. <laughs> Oh, you can control the arc of the thing, right? I just realized I could throw it up. Oh, you can throw it up, but you can't make it go more forward? No. Here's something I've never played. Landstalker. Want to do that? Here's something. Light Crusader. Is what is Landstalker? I don't know. Light Crusader is a Genesis game that I only have because a, a, a viewer sent it to us and just said, I have this, have it. Ha here, have this. That's nice. Thank you. Want to play Landstalker? I don't know. Could play Pocahontas. All right. Well... I don't know if Keith might be thinking really hard. No, I, I agreed to play that game, The Last Crusade. What did you say it was? You keep I keep telling you that, yeah, that sounds fine, and you keep thinking that I didn't respond. Uh, I just don't hear you, I guess. Maybe you're not coming oh. through on Discord. Maybe. Chat, let me know if I answered. 
Because maybe I didn't. Maybe I said it, or maybe I was muted. I don't know. The treasures of King Knoll. Ooh, this is cool. This looks like one of them. Ar one of them RPGs. Sure sounds like an RPG. An art PG, an art PG? Yeah, an art PG. Gamul, date 312. Look at this. What is going on here? Keith, what is this? Oh, this is Catherine. I, I, I can't, f I mean, I don't know what this is actually. <laughs> Could you have missed that? Is this a, are you trying to line that Oh, this like is no. this is actually a video. I'm not even doing anything yet. Oh, that's why he's really good. Yeah. Um, oh, that's another thing I just bought. I just bought Catherine Full Body, and I'm probably gonna stream it. What's Catherine Full Body? Cat it's the new special edition of Catherine. That's oh, okay. supposedly uh, new and more transphobic than the previous one. So why we'll, we'll now see. that's a, it's a choice to have done that yeah certainly yeah um it's also a choice for you to have bought it yeah I think this was uh I I, I think this might be along the lines of the, the same the same reasons I got the last of us too which is like this will be fun to make it upset of me and stream. Or maybe, or maybe, I'll have a great time playing Catherine, like I did with the early hours of The Last of Us 2. I'm not doing any Which of Which, for this. the record, you didn't, you stopped playing after we talked about it last, so you have no new info on that game. But I had a great time with the first eight hours, that's a long number of hours. Yeah, that's, that's, that's about the length that I thought that The Last of Us 2 would have been. Yeah, that, that was all I really wanted, so I felt like I got my fill. Um, this is going... If I, if I was a kid, I wouldn't have been able to keep up with this. I am a slow reader. I think it has a nice look, but it's kind of, uh... Maybe it's just the screen share, but it look, it's kind of, um... Hard to see what's going on. Yeah, it is maybe... Hard to parse. Yeah, it's tough to parse. The name's Friday. Don't call Which me you know. girl. Um. Sorry, are you? I don't. Are you Nigel or Friday? I think I'm Nigel, and I think this little bat fairy is Friday. Okay. It would be really funny now that you mentioned that that's who we're talking to, uh, if the little bat fairy's name is Nigel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get one thing straight. I'm not your follower. Uh, Paul chimes in saying this game desperately needs shadows. Obviously not seeing the obvious shadow beneath there. this goggle oh, eagle. There you go. There is one shadow here. Yeah. Not like Sonic Mega Mix, which added shadow into Sonic. Oh, I think the game might have started because it's blue now. Oh, I still don't seem to be controlling this. This is a really long cutscene. Yeah. Honestly, it feels like they made... Like, I wonder if what we just watched was the beginning of the game and they decided it was too hard <laughs> and too boring so they just made it a cut oh scene. like to make you jump across those yeah. things yeah now we're Wait, look turn away and jump i like i like the bottom of uh the bottom of nigel's shoes there that you can see you get sort of a there we go like a nice it's a nice looking series of sprites yeah all right uh, yeah um can I convene with the devil before I start the game? But yeah, Paul's right. There's no shadows and I think that's what is contributing to it being hard to parse. Despite some of the art looking really good, like when we were over in the village and there was like the cobblestone and then the differently textured roof tiles this is, and uh, the nice trees. It's really rigid about the isometric angle that it's walking at. 
So when I push, this is where it goes when I push forward, and I'm not cool with that. I'm. What I'm do you a, want it to do when you push forward? I want it to go to the right. I want it to go up and to the right. I'm an up and right person with my isometric games. I think. I mean, I guess what I actually want is for it to just go forward, like it to not go along oh. the isometric. I can't hear you. Hold on. Uh oh. Sounds a lot like Sonic's jump. Whoop. I stepped on and then unplugged my headphones. No, oh, now up is going up and to the right. What is happening? Something spooky. It's the mystery you'll have to solve. I hate this. Why would you do this to me? I found life stock. Cool, invest early. I have a guitar pick somewhere, but I lost it. Life stock, invest early. Um So I have something to admit, it's that I wasn't I was I was looking at the game, but not at the words. What are we doing? Oh, I'm Nigel. Yeah, I and, knew that. And um, there's a fairy name. Yeah, I saw. I remember that. What was and it why named? is she following us? Ooh, that's a good noise. You seem to be on some sort of adventure. Yeah, I feel like I'm adventuring. I'm I feel pretty adventurous right now. I am finding life stock. And that must count for something. What are the returns on that? I don't know. Dividends. What are the dividends? Two percent a Ah! Aw, oh, come on. Uh-oh. Looks like we've gotten ourselves into some trouble. We seem stuck and cannot move. This, uh, this game sure has a lot of stuff it wants you to watch and not play. Is that fun in the 90s? It doesn't it doesn't feel fun right now. <laughs> I don't know about the 90s, but right now it's not that much fun. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. Well, you done? <laughs> uh, I don't know. It it does look appealing, doesn't it? It does look really good. Yeah. This looks great. I gotta say, it could it could use those shadows, but Yeah. Yeah, nope, now that I'm moving again on the isometric thing, I'm out. We could uh check out Beyond Oasis, because that's the other game on this that's like Zelda-ish. And maybe I think that one's more highly regarded. Young man obtains a golden Beyond armband. Oasis. They can summon four of something. A boy finds one bracelet and the rest is history. Oh, there he is. He's our, He already had a bracelet. Oh, but there's now he's, the... he's got an even better one. That's bracelet a bracelet upgrade. Now that's a bracelet. That's why. Look at the M. <laughs> Look at the M. I like it. Has a ton of attitude. Putting the bracelet on over the other bracelet. Very normal. Yes! I have big bracelet! 
Oh no, it's glowing. There's a face. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I am what remains of this gold armlet. I now entrust its power to you, for you have been chosen to undergo a difficult task. What? Oh. The gold armlet has <coughs> its pair, a silver armlet, oh. which has possessed the soul I'm of another. One. He will lead Oasis to ruin if you do not stop him. The powers of the gold armlet are now yours to wield. That's weird. Find the four spirits this gold armlet governs no, and I... stop the evil ambition of the one with the silver armlet. I don't... The gold one sounds better than a silver one. I don't know why I have to stop them. Is this the same guy? Is this the face? Uh, what? This narration here, is that the face? Or is this... Yeah. Yes? I don't... Who cares? You seem like you hate this. No. It just seems like a lot to read in that voice. The epic battle destroyed them both. The armlets were something. <laughs> <laughs> Point made. You don't like the voice? You didn't like that? Uh, no, it just, it just seemed, it seemed like there was, it was a lot. It seemed like maybe you wouldn't, I was just imagining you wouldn't want to do. Oh. Oh, oh. Ah! <laughs> it's always, every time you play a new Genesis game, you have to figure out the buttons, because... If, it, if you haven't seen a Genesis controller, it just has A, B, and C in a row, and that's just really awkward, and it doesn't make sense, and no one ever really decided on which buttons should do what, so every game oh, is kind of Oh, sorry different. that it's tough to use the only non-hierarchical controller. Wow, non-hierarchical, huh? Yeah. Obviously, on every other controller, it's the bottom fun. is the main button. Well, not in Actually, Japan. Actually, that's not true, because yeah. Nintendo No, it's does... not. Yeah. Oh, here we are. We're a boy. And sometimes, sometimes PlayStation has, uh, what is it? Circle? Square? Which one is B? He was a boy. She was a bracelet. They could summon four spirits. Hey, Tate Wheel Ruins next time, please. I thought you were about no to whack way. that kid. No way, you're too sword. young. You're just you're a just kid. Young. Get out of here. Hey, come on. Grow up first, why don't you? Get real. Ah. Why are these bad guys just like in the village? <laughs> I don't know. We just found them. We just rolled up on them. They just got here. Oh. You Ooh. think you can take out me and my bracelet? That's an interesting use of the jump. The If I tap C, it's jump. If I hold it, it's crouch. Oh. And I can do a little whoop, whoop, like a crouch and then a jump. That's pretty useful. That's cool. Good, good button mapping. What? This seems not like the best combat in the world, I'm going to be honest. Did you have a dash oh, backwards, wow. maybe? Okay. Ooh, look at that. Maybe I was not mashing hard enough was the problem. Congratulations, you've saved the village. Problem, I, I was using too much strategy. My lips are really dry. I need to put on some medicated Blistex. Mm. Oh, you're living that medicated Blistex life? You're not doing the eggs anymore? No, when I got my mouth busted open, I went and got a three-pack of medicated Blistex, and that did me did me right. Uh, yeah, that's just the best. When when I had those chap lips at the cabin, when we were doing our cabin content, uh, uh, that's what I had to go get. Mm -hmm.
I got my pips back. And I got a cookie. This guy, uh, he stomps. I don't know. I didn't read. I wasn't listening. I'm not good at video games when I'm doing that a stream. Gone. Yeah. Yeah, Chapstick turns Kylie into a total dumbass. <laughs> uh, that would be so funny if it was true. Yeah. <laughs> it's just such a mean thing to say. But it also doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what the Why would fuck? Chapstick I'm to turn pick you into the a snake? Dumbass. And like, granted, it's not yep, working. Yeah, there she goes, making but... making those chapstick decisions. Can't kick Whoa. a snake. Did you hear that fucking scream? Uh, I missed it, actually. What? That's so weird. He like swings the sword sure. once and then just kicks a lot. Yeah. Well, the kicks are more powerful. Yeah. You must have heard that. Yeah. It didn't strike me as strange, though. Oh, okay. Uh, does the it was chat... Like, ah! It was does... like that, right? It was like... Ah! Yep. Does the chat have any game requests? Hey, chat, what do you want? Oh, okay. That want? is weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Sorry, it just doesn't come in really great through the we our weird setup. That sure, we got yeah. Um, they were chat. those rats were just having a nice time, and I just came in and fucked it all up. Uh, Paul wants to know if we have Pulse Man. Uh, no, no. We have Vector Paul. Man. I saw Pulse Man in there, and I specifically didn't put Pulse Man on there because I didn't want the option to play Pulse Man. Sorry. I don't know what Pulse Man is. I've even. only played Pulse Man once. I didn't like it. I mean, it's not even fair. I wasn't. The thing was, I wasn't looking for. Um, wasn't looking for new games to get into so much. I was mostly looking for stuff I knew I liked and stuff I thought my daughter would like. And Pulse Man didn't fit into either of those two categories. But she likes Vector Man. She has not tried Vector Man. I bet she would like it, though. Vector Man's hard as shit. Are you worried that you're killing these rats without any real reason? Yes. I literally, like, a minute ago, I, they were sitting around a campfire, and I just rolled up and murdered them all. But they did all start, at, like, well, no, I attacked first, so... Yeah, they fought back after yeah. you started murdering them. Yeah. And do you, you just, see he... what video games do to us? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I see it. I like how low to the ground you get when you crouch walk. Look at that. Yeah. You're so low to the ground. I wish he could. Oh, there we go. Hey, baby. Yeah, look at that goofy run. That is so stupid. I like the slide to stop, though. You know, it's funny. The... the... The pants, your big pants, have, like, such a defined... Please, Keith, um, call them hammer pants. Your hammer pants there have such a defined uh, outline <laughs> to them, but the but you, your arms don't. And so it kind of looks like a Mortal Kombat-style, <laughs> like, picture sprite for the skin, but a cartoon for the legs <laughs> and the sword. <laughs> It's um, it, it's like uh, the virtual hide light vibes, kind of. Yeah, it's like, like you. Just it's not like nearly as upsetting. Or like you took a picture and cell shaded just part of a person. So I'm good on this. This looks fine though. Yeah, no, I don't know. I haven't played it enough to figure out if it's good. It doesn't immediately seem great. Um, 
it doesn't come with the only Disney games it comes with is Castle of Illusion and World of Illusion. Um, I added all these other ones for my daughter. The only. Sorry, did you say the only Disney games? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, you um, said Disney games, and I for some reason I heard the only Nintendo the Sega games it comes with, and I was like, wait, there's more Sega games than just those. Actually, let me double check. There might have been. No. Oh, what's Darius? I've never even played that. Uh, it's an it's an MTV show. No, Darius. That a uh, high school girl. Darius, Keith. Darius. Keith really dropped that one. He was not interested in continuing. Yeah, I didn't know where to go from there. That's fine. That's fine. I just let I just let you convince me that it that I was wrong. Oh, okay. What's Darius? Taito's 1986 hit arcade shooter Darius. Are you makes, not Darius? Makes its official debut. I'm not calling it Darius. Why? Because I just don't want to. It's fight. It's me. just a name. Fight me. I just don't think it is. I don't think it's Darius. I think it's Darius. This faithful port comes with a brand new special mode where you can face off against all 26 huge battleships. I like huge battleships. Here it is. Boss rush mode. Here we are. Oh, it's a fucking scramble game. You tricked me. Taito tricked me. Tricked me into playing scramble, you fucking assholes. Who voted for for Darius? Me. I no. meant Taito is the asshole because they Taito said, "Hey, play this. It's Darius." And I said, "What's that?" And they said, "Just play it." And then I was like, "No, oh, it's scramble." Maybe it's really good. I think. Uh, Paul voted for Rystar. Sorry, um, Paul. We don't Timor have the same taste. voted in for games. Chicky Chicky Boys. <laughs> oh, uh, Flicky. Oh uh, no, Chicky Chicky Boys is what it says. Oh, okay. Sorry, I don't have Chicky Chicky Boys. Look how big this text is, though. That's nice. Yeah, I like big text. N nobody ever went above and beyond like this back then. That's big text too. They said this is the Genesis. It's the net. It's the Genesis. It's the next generation. Words are big now. Welcome to. Wait, no. Welcome me to head next level. level. Ugh, okay. Goodbye. Did you say, are you saying goodbye to the game? Yep. Okay. Bye, Darius. Play Thunder Force 3. Can we... Will, will we like this other space shooter better? Maybe not. Thunder uh, Force 3? I don't know if... I've only played the first level. I don't know if every level is like this, but the first level you seem restricted to one screen, which is not nearly as good as Thunder Force 4, which was notable for its verticality. And probably better music, too. Probably. Let's find out. I remember the music. I, I think it was good, right? Let's, let's listen. In Thunder Force 4? Yeah, it was sick. Oh, in 4 it was sick. I mean this one. Let's listen. No! It's very quiet. The whole game's quiet. The shooting is really quiet. Yeah. Really it fast. sounds like rain on a, on a pane of glass. Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Okay, I'm going too I love. Fast. I like this one because, uh... It's one of the ones where when you get damaged, I can't see you because it blinks at the exact right <laughs> Great. frequency Perfect. to not be picked up by screen share. Ooh, that's a fun one. Yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much is Ooh. this your favorite game? 
Uh, six. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad, but, you know, just... Uh, I'll just jump over to Thunder Force 4 right now. Like, that was a game... I bought that game... I mean, speaking of the music, I bought it only because I knew of the music and I knew that I liked it. And then I put the game on. I was like, damn, this is a game going on right here. Sure is. We, um... So, my mom's boyfriend's grandkids were over at the same time that we were visiting with the Genesis. And, um... And Emmett, the kid who is around my daughter's age, he was playing this one, like, the whole time. So favorite he, game. Favorite he, game of... Yeah. He knew young, what was up. Young Emmett. Young Emmett. Um... Young Emmett. Tween shot. Look at... See, I mean, just look at this immediately. It's like, Yeah, whoa. it's immediately much better. <laughs> immediately shooting me in the face are those good or bad I can't remember ah uh, those look like bombs to me ah ah god these games are brutal ooh I like that batarang yeah this is very very sick uh, this is a game another game famously uh, does not play well with like 30 frames per second so I'm this probably looks like garbage um yeah it doesn't look great but I, I I don't know if I'm streaming in 60 frames or not but I don't think so to me or to the internet to the internet uh it looks fine on the stream except for there's no motion to your um, gun. It's just like blinking bullets. Yeah, there you go. Oh, uh, but everything else looks fine. Uh, you know, when I was playing this on a TV, I thought the, I mean, Genesis sound emulation is famously tough. When I heard it on a TV, it sounded pretty much perfect through headphones. When I'm listening closer, it's off a bit, but it's not, it's not terrible. It's certainly been worse in other Genesis collections and stuff. So I bought these new I bought these new pickups for this for this guitar. It's one of the changes that I'm making. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, didn't come with covers, and so I had to go buy covers, and now I have to wait for those covers to show up. Covers? Yeah. It just like you like know, just the part that goes over it on the part guitar? that goes over. Yeah, yeah, literally, yeah. Oh, that sounds like a part you need. Um, I actually don't know for sure that I need it. Um, they might be able to sit in there without covers. I've never replaced a pickup before, uh, or I've I I've never used this kind of pickup specifically. Um. But I know that they, they, a lot of them come with covers, and I assume that, you know, uh, like, because mo some, most of them, or some of them come with covers, that because these didn't come with covers, it's because they're like, well, if you're replacing your Jazzmaster uh, pickups, you've probably already got a Jazzmaster that has Jazzmaster pickup covers. Oh, sure. Right. Would have been nice to know that they didn't come yeah. with covers. Um, but it's fine. All the electronics aren't in anyway, so I, I, was gonna wait a few days or a week to open it up anyway. I'm surprised some of the things that I expected to be wrong with the guitar are, are like fine. Mm -hmm. And then there's other things that I didn't expect that are weird. Like I expected the frets to be kind of sharp, and they're not. Um, I expected. A little scratchy though. I ex I expected uh, the um. What was the other thing I expected? Uh, I don't oh, know. The, I didn't. I didn't expect there to be rounding. Some nice rounding on the the fretboard, which there is. Uh, it's just more comfortable to play than I expected. What I didn't expect is that it's kind of dirty. Like it came dirty, huh. new from, uh, presumably where like 
a, re a legitimate retailer. Presumably. But there, well, I bought it on Reverb, and it was listed as brand new. Yeah. It definitely came in a Fender box, um, but who knows if someone opened it up and, like, fucked with it. But, you know. Uh, but, like, the fretboard is, like, covered Whoa. in, like, black, like, dirt. Or not the fretboard, the, um, pick guard. Sorry. So, it should Ugh. come off easy. I just didn't expect it to be dirty. Ah, no. Glorp wants to know what guitar I'm talking about. I bought a, a mini Squire Jazzmaster, which is a Jazzmaster in shape alone. It uh, doesn't have a rhythm circuit. It doesn't have the the classic Jazzmaster ah. wide single coils. Um, uh, but it does have a really nice seafoam green color. Wow. I wanted a seafoam green Jazzmaster for, uh, for like, 13 years um lightning force is a bastard and so i bought it i'm gonna re i'm gonna replace the electronics and the pickup i'm gonna replace the synthetic bone nut which means plastic i think um with an actual bone nut and and i'm gonna build i bought a wood router i'm gonna route a new body cavity i'm gonna put in a rhythm circuit uh and then i'll have a real <laughs> Look at jazz the master on my hands. Look at the cover of this game. This was the isometric RPG we played. Uh, I can't really see what it looks like. It just uh, looks like a mess to me. Let me look on on the stream. Um, yeah, that looks better on the on the box. No, I think the box looks terrible and nothing like the game. No, I mean if the game was what this box was showing. That would oh. be nice. Maybe. You're right. It's a poor representation. Um, let's hey, let's check out Sonic Kid Completed, Chameleon. Yes. Kid Chameleon sucks. I hate it. Hate. Don't make me. Shadow Run. Shadow Run. I actually don't know Shadow Run for the Genesis. I don't. I've never played it either. It's well regarded though. Let's. Uh, it might be a lot to get into. Kind of seems like its own stream, but uh, eh, when are we ever gonna do it? I've been meaning to do a stream of Shadow on for the Genesis for ten years, so I guess we. Wow, that's do almost it. a decade. Yeah, it is. I did uh, buy Shadow Run for the Super Nintendo once for us to do a stream of, and we never did. But I. Shadowrun and Matrix are registered trademarks of the FASA Corp. Uh, Glorp is calling the the uh, rhythm circuit on the Jazzmasters and the Mustangs dumb. They're not dumb. They're awesome, and they totally rule. Uh, oh, look. we get. Let's pick our class. We can be a samurai. Behemoth, I think, is how would say that. Oh, well, we want to be a... Or a gator shaman. That one sounds racist, so let's be a Decker, the least racist the Samurai the doesn't sound racist to me. Definitely more racist than Decker. That's not, uh, well, I want to... What does Shadowrun know about Samurais? So, I also want to pick Decker, but I want to pick it for a better reason. I want to pick it because it's a cool name, and that guy has a keyboard strapped to his fucking hand. Yeah. What's his deck? Let's punch deck, everybody. The time, January 31st, 2058. The place, Seattle, UCAS. Under the cover of darkness, a team of Shadowrunners moves through this... Sail it... Okay. Oh boy. Oh wow. Oh, uh, we're being ambushed by unknown forces. Oh. Oh. The Trivid was recovered and made national news. Michael, your brother, was the last to die. Oops. Spending your last Nyun to go. Oh, yeah. Try New to Yen. Ask. New Yen? Oh, that makes sense. New Yen. Got it. Uh, the battered sign reads the Stoker's Coffin Motel. Yeah, sure, of course. <laughs> Why wouldn't you name a motel that if you wanted people to stay at it? Well, they're cheap. 
motels like so these you don't are want cheap. overcrowding. Each room only large enough to fit a small bed. Hey, it's cyberpunk, everybody. Oh, just looking for a piece to crash. Talk to you later. Here to pick up Michael's stuff. I am here to pick up Michael's stuff, I think. So let's say that because it's true. Yep, your bro skipped on paying his bill. Oh, man. 250 new yen. And I'll fork over his stash. 250 yen? New yen. How much? We're not talking about old yen here, please. How much could he have stored in those rooms? Um, so the, the pickups I ended up getting, I went with the Antiquity Ones from, um, uh, Seymour Duncan. I almost got... Look at us go. I almost got, uh, the, the, um... Oh, I can just shoot whenever I want. I almost got the Curtis Novak pickups and decided against it. I wasn't able to find a video comparing the two directly... Which is I would have been ideal, obviously. Dude, you want to go to but cyberspace? I, yeah, obviously I want to go. Well, actually, no, I want to go to Vidphone. Menu choice rejected. You I must have a, a cyber, cyber deck. deck. No, we're just a decker. We're a decker without a deck. No. Wow. Oh. Hey, traffic's all gummed up there. Ugh. Chum. Ugh. Eh. Ugh. What? Vid phone. Oh my god. All right. Well, what are we even doing here, folks? What? Get out. Get out. Um. Ooh, yeah, the, we have any the, cyberware. We have data. The jack. Curtis Novak's pickups seemed like they were just giving a slightly different kind of sound than I was looking for. It sounded great, but they were also pretty significantly more expensive. Um, the pickups that I did get are already as expensive as the guitar itself was. I didn't really feel like I needed to up that at all. Mm. Oh! What's your deal? What's your deal? You- uh, Oh, excuse me. Oh, uh, they have- these, these guys have a rotten deal. This deal sucks. That, that, yeah, that deal wicked it sucks. It seemed like you didn't need to attack those people little chiba yeah guys i get it you read neuromancer get the fuck out of here <laughs> wait sorry i forgot cyberpunk used to be cool i'm i'm in my 2020 brain everybody sorry some cyberpunk's cool some cyberpunk is dumb Uh, yeah, the Antiquity 2s were a little bit um, oh. too clear sounding, I think, is what I decided. Well, And so I went with the sort of warmer, midier Antiquity 1s. Wow. I like I li I li I liked them. Whatever, I mean, whatever they end up sounding like when I put them in, they will absolutely sound better than these two fucking humbuckers that are in here now, which sound like ass. Humbuckers? Yeah. Is that oh, a... they buck the hum. Is that? Oh, oh. Yeah. Got it. I love that. If you if you look up any guitar thing, if you're looking up, if you're like trying to learn about pickups, anybody who's talking about humbuckers will explain them as well. They buck the hum, and you're like, <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? That's not helpful at all. <laughs> if you're out there and you have a guitar channel and you want to know how to explain what a humbucker is to someone that doesn't know what a, what know a lot about guitars. Explaining humbuckers by saying they buck the hum is the worst thing you could possibly say. Um, oh, a humbucker oh. is two, it's two single ah. coil pickups wired in a way where it, it like eliminates the hum that you get when you have a guitar plugged into an amplifier. All right. We're going for it, Keith. We're going for uh, Sonic 3 complete, baby. Complete. It's a ROM hack of Sonic 3 and Knuckles that it, you know. It's got Sonic 3, it's got Sonic and Knuckles, and it's got Blue Sphere, and it's got Sonic 3 Complete, which is the whole thing. Sonic 3 and Knuckles. 
and it's got all kinds of menus. Hey, that's our favorite. Menus, menus, menus. There's even options. There's a whole website where you get the ROM, where it patches a ROM that you upload, and there's even options that can only be pre-baked into the ROM. You can change it if you want Sonic 1 or Sonic 2 Sonic instead of the Sonic 3 sprite, you can do that. And... <laughs> hmm. <sighs> what a... Hmm. Yeah, there's some stuff around like playing some cut content in Sonic 3, but... It's not that interesting. That, that's why I haven't really ever shown this off, even though I've played it a lot. It, it is just, hey, it's Sonic 3 and Knuckles. But, you know, it's got, hey, if you want to listen to the bad versions of the songs from the PC collection of Sonic and Knuckles, you can do that. Ooh, that's good. Hmm. Well, that's not good. You're real chatty today. We're just navigating a bunch of menus. I don't know. You, we got something else to talk about? Uh, not really. I mean, my whole last two weeks Ooh. have been about um this guitar. So. Oh, gotcha. Here I've you been can trying to figure out how to play a good, try to play a good electric guitar without having to spend any money on it. Um, or they're having to spend like eight hundred dollars on it. Definitely wasn't, you know, free. Um, hmm. yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna, I'm considering, uh, I'm considering trying to build a pedal. That'll be fun. Ooh, An effects pedal. Oh, I know what I want to talk about. Okay, Let's good. Let's talk about mechanical keyboard switches. Oh, are you doing... Do you still want this keyboard that I got here? Oh, do you You mentioned it on Twitter. I forgot. What is... What's your thing? Uh, I have that keyboard that I made with, I built with the encoder thing, and you oh. tweeted at me that you want one, and I said that I've got one. Uh, and I have a second one. I'm... I want a knob for my computer. And that's what that that's what that is, right? N uh, well, I mean, you've got to have a you have to have a not have to. It is it it becomes much more complicated uh, unless you have a keyboard that is specifically built to have that knob there. Oh, yeah. So the knob wasn't added by me. The knob was is built into the PCB, and you wire it up directly to the PCB. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about keyboard switches. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what type of keyboard switch I want, and I'm not sure what it is yet. Yeah, it's a paralyzing decision that in in reality is almost not a decision at all. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think, know exactly how you feel, though. I think the answer is probably just going to be red switches. No, don't get red switches. Why? Just get something that is red, that are like red switches but better. Oh, well, I just mean, I mean that type of, like, I don't mean... Linear. Linear yeah, switches. linear switches, yeah. sorry. Okay. I like linear switches. Because uh, I know... It's probably what... my favorite kind of switch. I'll say this. I hate... I haven't tried your new keyboard yet. I've only yeah. tried your old keyboard. I hate the amount of resistance on your old keyboard. I absolutely don't want that. Really? Yeah. Okay, so then you definitely don't want tactile switches either. That's, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Um, because, like, some people, including me sometimes, because I have, I, have I have another keyboard, the one that I, the one with the encoder on it, that has tactile switches on it, and they have a pretty decent little hump that you've got to get over mm, to, yeah. to press it. So, yeah, you probably want linears. Um... Yeah, because I'm the thinking, good news like, is do, that any I, linear that you that's worth having is almost always out of stock. So you've got to like <laughs> wait until they're in stock. Right. Yeah. Right. Um. The 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 big names right now that people like are uh, people like the tangerines. Um. That's what people like. Tangerine switches. The C threes. 
Uh, people also like the um, uh, the Telios switches. Those are both pretty expensive options. Um, a cheap version that that might do the same thing might be the mil the Gateron Milky Yellows. What are the yellows? Uh, it's just a gat. It's just a um, I. I don't know what it, I think it's a, it's got a different resistance to it than the red than the Gateron reds. I don't remember if they're higher or oh, lower. So it's, so it's linear. But it's linear, yeah, okay, it's linear, okay. yeah. Um, people started making so many different kinds of switches that it stopped being just the browns are the tactile ones, the reds are the linear ones, right? And the blues are the clicky ones. Like people just have a billion so, different colors now, and you just have to look up what each one is in question. particular. Question. Yeah. The the blues. Yeah. Uh so they're clicky, does that mean they have extra resistance or is it just a clickiness that doesn't add resistance? Uh the clicky switches will always have some resistance. Um there's two different ways to to have a click. You've got a click um You've got like a click jacket, which is sort of like a springy piece of metal that gets tripped in the same way that a tactile bump gets tripped on your way down. Gotcha. And then the newer way of doing it um, that I believe in, was invented by Kale, uh, which uh, like Gateron just made copies of cherry switches and then yeah. until they started making their own niche things and are just like all just, they're just all better in every way despite starting off as a clone company. Um, okay, they so have that, a click that's bar. I, I so they wasn't, have like a. I wasn't clear if those were like better or worse than the cherries. Yeah, cherries. Cherry kind of just, in my opinion, uh, cherry seems coastin'. to make the worst switches. They coast. Um, coasting on that rep. Yeah, yeah, they're coasting on the rep. Um, uh, brown browns. I uh, browns. I've used browns. I used to like. And but now that I've used good, um, good tactile switches, Browns are I think the worst out of all of them. Oh. Um, blues are fine if you like the clicky, but they have like a really um, like uh, like rattly sound to them that I that people don't like, like the click bars because the bar is more solid and it doesn't move around like the jacket. It has like. A single, very defined click to it, which is nice if that's what you like. What color is um, that? Uh, they have a like four. Kale has like whites. No, I just mean uh, like what were you just describing when you said that? Oh, I, kale. I was, I was kale up clicky in the... switches in general oh, have okay. a like they they uh, especially the box switches have a click bar. Um, they're different colors though. There's like a jade. There's a blue. There's a white. Um. And those all have um, bars. I want to correct something I said before. Before I said that the game sound was sounding off in my headphones, but I think I'm hearing it now. I think just like the setup isn't passing the right like channel volume to me, so it just I'm not hearing it right. Is all. I think it actually sounds fine. Um, but yeah, you definitely want you definitely want the linear switches. Uh. Unless you really want a click. If you don't like the tactile, well, the only way you would want a clicky switch is if you desperately yeah. want a clicky sound. Right. So I do kind of like the idea of a clicky sound, but I am also afraid of getting a keyboard that is insanely loud and drives me, me and everyone around me crazy forever. Yeah. So it sounds like what you want is a, is a, are some nice linears. The good thing about the linears is they do make a sound unless you get silenced ones, which True. do exist. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they make a sound when the when the key hits the bottom right. of the switch, so, or when yeah. the cap hits the bottom of the switch, and then when it comes back up, it makes a sound. Yeah, and so it's I'm not that's super probably, quiet. Yeah, I'm thinking that's, that's totally that's enough, enough, especially like a really nice, smooth linear switch has like ah. a very good sound to it. Um, I'm thinking about getting a keyboard I'm sure you've heard of. I'm thinking about getting the Tada 68. I, yeah, totally know that keyboard, yep. Uh, I, I, nice, really liked, cheap... I really like the look of the like very basic like retro gray keys. Yeah, I also oh, cool. like, I like that, uh, 
that that's a great size too. Yeah, yeah. I like this like the sixty five percent keyboards. Um, key, sixty eight for anybody stands for the amount of keys that it has. Um, you gonna get the the hot swap board or are you gonna get the the hello the solder board? Hey, sorry, my headphones fell off my head. Oh, you are you gonna get the hot swap board or are you gonna get the solder solder board? I I only knew about the solder one, but I mean. I know how to solder, and it didn't look hard, so I don't see why not. Um, it's probably not. I actually don't know what it comes with. So, like, there's, like, a few steps where it's, like, oh, all you have to do is solder in the switches, and everything else is done. And then some of them are, like, you have to solder in the switches and the resistors and the capacitors mm. and the LEDs if you're getting one with yeah. LEDs. And yeah. then by the end, it's, like, 500 or 550 <laughs> different solder points. Yeah, that's a and lot. And it takes, like, nine hours to do, especially if you're going to take another hour or two to um, to lube your switches. Oh, I mean, you got to lube your switches. Right. Yeah, you got to lube your switches. Um, no, I mean, you know, uh, I, listen, I've done some soldering in my time. You know this about me, and uh, it's not going to be a problem. It's a lot of soldering, but it didn't look at all like anything difficult. No, it's not difficult at all. Uh, actually, the the one tricky thing about it is, do you have a pair of helping hands? I sure do. It's probably too big to fit in those. Yes, it is. And so, um, so like you've kind of got to do this weird thing where like a lot of the like if you do have to end up doing capacitors ah. and resistors, where it's like you've got the big pieces like the big wires coming off the back of those and no way to keep it up because it's because you can't put it in the helping hands you know what i mean no but that's okay well you've just got you've just got like 68 capacitors all with the bottoms sticking out and you're just gonna have to like put them in and have them be bent at an angle because Oh yeah, to that's hold the keyboard off of the table. No, that's that's normal. You're like supposed to do that anyway. Um, I I would much rather have some way to keep it up so that they go in without me having to lift up the keyboard and bend them over each time. And then when they're all in, I can bend I can I can bend them individually and then snip them and then solder them. But you can't really do that. Oh, you know what? I think I'll restart. One of the things about this mod is it adds... Um, remember how every level had a palm tree on the number? Now they have their own icons for each letter. So that one, I think, is supposed to be a splash of water. It doesn't look awesome, but... And this this has some, like, really minor changes. Like, uh, a thing I didn't notice before is there's a bug in the game where... You need 50 rings to get to a special stage, and then it's supposed to be that if you get 50 rings within the special stage, you get a continue, but the counter doesn't actually reset when you enter the special stage, so you actually only need to get one ring to get the continue. So I somehow never noticed that every time you go to a special stage in Sonic 3, you immediately get a continue. Oh, that's... Um, it's a nice glitch, though. It helps you. Yeah. Um, you know who's cool? Who's cool? Yeah, Knuckles is cool. Yeah. Look at him. Look at him. You thought Sonic had toed? What? Oh, boy. This guy right here? This guy right here. See him? Chock full of it. Look at him. He's so grump. Tapping his foot and everything. He wants to punch Come somebody. on. I'll box. I'll fight yeah. you. Yeah. Cha cha cha. Yeah, what? Who? <laughs> <laughs> That's the other red boy. Oh, come on. Oh, um, here the other uh the other linears that people really like are the alpacas. Um, people like those a lot. Also How called come? the uh, well, the thing that you want is you want it to be smooth when you click it. Like, one of the things that people don't like about red, cherry reds is that they kind of have this scratchy feeling when you press them down. Ugh. Yeah. Like, you can, like, there's, like, you know, you can feel the plastic rubbing on the plastic. Sure. Ah. And people don't, people don't like that. Um, 
I would say out of all of the cherry switches, the reds are probably the, the best ones. Like the most still good that people can use and like and most, it's fine. Most still good. Most still good. Yeah. Um but <clears throat> yeah, the thing the thing that makes it good is like, you know, how how nice is the resistance and how not scratchy is most it? still good. That's how good. good, how not how scratchy. Good. How not scratchy. Yeah. That's what you want. But yeah, those are those are those people like people like the tangerines, people like the alpacas, people which there's another, I believe, um it's maybe lilac is like it's just like rebranded by another company under a different name. Mm -hmm. I think it's lilac. So the alpacas and the lilacs are the same. There's the tangerines. There's uh the there's the um the the creams people like. Those are ones that people like, even though they are scratchy. I have them. I like them. Um, you can't tell they're scratchy when you type on them, only when you press them really slow. <laughs> only, um, only when you're being a, a pedant about your keyboard and testing it out. Yeah, yeah, totally. Well, it's got this. It has this like self-lubricating. Can't imagine that. Um, it has a self-lubricating plastic. It's like a dry lubricant, and the idea is that as you use it, the friction will. Um, will degrade the plastic in a way where the the, mm. the dust of the erosion of the mm -hmm. plastic becomes lubricant oh. um, because it's an especially slippery plastic called palm. Oh, so it's a good um, thing that it happened. It's a good thing, yeah. yeah. It's intentional. Um, and I have definitely found that they are less scratchy after about two months of using them. Cool. Uh, um, and thing... again, they're only scratchy if you press them really slow like an asshole the way that no one would ever. Yeah. Um, there was one that I mentioned earlier that I can't remember. Um, I'm also... Tangerine, Slylax. Uh... Oh, the Telios. Telios. So, look into those if you're looking for linear switches, Kylie. Okay. Um, I'm excited about the keycaps that come with it because I guess they're cherry profile, which is another cherry thing, but I haven't had keys like that before and they look nice. Um, yeah, the cherry profile has, like, the scoop, right? That's what it is? It's like the... Uh, they're kind of, like, angled forward. Okay. I thought it was the ones that they started... They started angled down, and then they're flat, and then they're angled upward. But I could be... Yeah, I, I think could be a different... We, I think we might be describing the same thing. Okay, yeah. Um... It comes with... It comes with, uh, those, or you're just getting them with it? It, it comes with those. Yeah, I, mean, I didn't know it came with any. Uh, yeah. Maybe there's a version that doesn't come with switches. Maybe. It, or with uh, keycaps, I mean. Yeah, I mean, it, it seems like there's a whole lot of different people that sell them, so. Uh, okay. Uh, but um, it, it did they're made, sound. They're from it's... KBD fans, I think, is the website that like makes them, hmm. or commissions them to be made. It's un it's unclear. It's all, all of the all of the keyboard sellers are basically just like retailers who commission factories to make keyboards that right. they then sell it's bizarre yeah so like yeah if i have if i want to get one of these i'll either have to pay too much or get do a group buy which is yeah ridiculous um check kbd fans they tend to have they just tend to have them in stock in a way that um most people don't uh K i don't know if that's the KBD? website you're already looking at yeah What's the second B? KBD. I think it's keyboard. Oh, okay. That's my. That's what I always yeah. read it as. No, I'm. Yeah. I thought it was two Bs. I was like, what? No, no. Um. Yeah, I almost bought that exact keyboard and then didn't. Here we are in Sonic Three. I meant to stop playing by now, but I can't because Sonic's too much fun. Uh, Giggles Von Barblesby says, <laughs> I don't think I was ever able to get an emerald. Uh, you're so much better at this than I am. Uh, congratulations, someone finally has complimented your Sonic play. Thank you, for Christ's <laughs> sake. Like, <laughs> seriously, <laughs> we were so, I was so bad, like, relatively at Sonic 1 and 2, and I was just like, these these motherfuckers at something awful they'll at least appreciate how great i am at sonic 3 and 
now. For all, for how good I was, all they did was not complain about it. <laughs> like, that was the most I got out of them, was they didn't complain about how I played Sonic 3, which meant I was incredible, I guess. Yeah. It's the fun, that's like sort of the funny thing about- I'm uh, also playing we were... with a pretty significant audio delay and something of a audio, a visual delay, I think. Um, the, uh, the funny thing about something awful was all were like were one of the very funny things. One of the very um, funny things. Uh, super hilarious. Looking back, I loved it. Um, <laughs> it was like it's always like like they were always so fucking particular about the shit that they wanted. Yeah. And by the way, you know, all of them wanted something slightly different. So yeah. it wasn't like everybody wanted all the same thing but, from us. But they all uh, operated under the notion that everyone was agreeing on what they wanted. So, like, they right. would address you with this, like, don't you know this is what you're supposed to do? But then, but then, even when you, when they, when you gave them what they wanted, they didn't care. <laughs> they just were like, ah, now we're at neutral. <laughs> I mean, we also did get a lot of viewers from that as well. Yeah. So it was a positive experience in that. The vocal majority. The, sorry, the silent majority. The silent majority. <laughs> oh. Damn. You're dead. Um. You know what? I mean, What's did, up? did you still want to see a Sonic ROM hacker? No? I, we, basically, I have the the good gen ROM collection from like archive.org that's just like every Genesis ROM anyone's ever heard yeah. of. Um, well, we, we so I don't think I, I don't think I have time to do that. I'm hungry. I have to eat right. dinner. We've been going for like Woo. three and a half hours almost. Yeah, sure. That sounds about right. I haven't looked at um, clock. It's uh, it's uh, almost eight, I think. Uh, 7.30. Ah! Let's, 7 uh... We started at f a little after 4. Let's... Yeah, let's see if there's one more fun thing we can play for, like, five minutes before we get out of here. Okay. Um, but you... This is something you have to talk about, because you we have a slightly different understanding, I think, of, of what a good ROM hack is. And so, for me, I want to see, like, crazy shit that's totally weird. And I think you want something that's like someone that loves Sonic slaving away <laughs> at uh, at this like very faithful recreation that adds something that they really like. Uh, I mean, like I know you... I know that's what this is, but I don't play Sonic Three Complete because it's a ROM hack. I play Sonic Three Complete because it's the best way to play Sonic Three. This it's different. I know what you're saying. I like user-made levels. Mega Man. Power Damn, you Rangers. know what we should do? We should go through... Lemmings. We should go through a bunch of Pokemon games and find uh, all of the best fan Pokemon, fan-made Pokemon. Ooh. Uh... We could play Alien Soldier because that's like a that's a popular like cult hit. Uh, one of those games no one played at the time and was overlooked. Uh, it's not in the system. I I hacked it in there and I don't think it ever came to America. Oh shit! Okay, well let's do this. Let's do this. It's not launching because it's a it's a European ROM and it's telling me it's wrong. So let's go to my desktop real quick and fix that. Uh, screen capture, window capture, monitor, monitor capture. Wow, this is already out of tune again? Jesus Christ. Uh, open up Hackchi over here. I already have, um, I already had my Genesis plugged into my PC for power. So I'll go to Alien Soldier right here. And what's really cool is that it you it will probably already have box art for the game that you import, but then if you don't, you can just click Google and it'll just Google the game for you and then you can just pick one to import. 
very cool. Um, so I'll go here and do region Europe. And then I will do synchronize. And so now it has uh, pooped that back onto my Genesis Mini. And we'll just go here, turn this back off, get back into the game, boot it up, see what happens. And a book up, but what do you know? Nice. Magic. Magic. I like the blood ring. Um, so that, that's the thing about uh, Genesis game reach. Uh, it's a that's some kind of nebula, Keith. It's out in space, or maybe it's blood. I don't know. I mean, I couldn't say. Wow, we have uh, some stuff to pick from here. Uh, what? Oh, I get to pick four. Shit. Okay. Yeah, g give me all of the stuff. Go. Uh, the the thing about Genesis region so, uh, region protection is that it only ever just asked the console what region the console was. So like all of like the region circumvention now is just stuff that lets you change the region on your own, and then that's how you get around it. What is this? Uh. This belly thing? This belly ah, boy? Ah, okay. He wanted fire, I guess. I don't think I don't think he wanted fire. He wanted <laughs> fire. These these like these, monsters are fucked these, up. They, <laughs> so gross. Yeah, these are nasty. Power up. This alright. What God. I was trying to figure out what killed those guys. Woo! Nice game over screen. Level hard. Why are we playing level hard? I don't want level hard. It seems like a bad idea to me. I don't know. What are you gonna what are you gonna have for eating? What are you gonna eat? Um gonna have a uh, a black bean status. Wow. I um Does that impress you? No. This game seems hard. This game certainly It looks has, really good. It look I mean it, it looks awesome and it's clearly got a ton going on. Whoa! Wow It's got that going on. That's cool. Emergency. Oh, I like that that, that wow. didn't count. That's cool. So yeah, the fight hadn't started yet, sorry. That's pretty cool. Okay, so that's like a phase step. Like that doesn't hurt you. That's what it seems like, yeah. It's it's doing something over there. Ah, ooh. You hate to phase into your enemy. You hate to step back into this plane inside the body of the person you were trying to defeat. Tons of treble on this. But uh, yeah, it's Alien Soldier. That's the Genesis Mini, and that's every that's time you say Alien Soldier, I can't explain it. But in my head, I go Alien Soldier, <laughs> and I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it just keeps happening, and totally oh. involuntarily. <laughs> oh, here's something worth noting. Uh, unlike the NES and Super Nintendo minis, this one actually has a Tetris game. Got Tetris for the Genesis, and Tetris for the Genesis is weird. It's like a, it's like a Tetris Tetris effect, but 16-bit. Look at this. Like all the backgrounds are very like, hey man, just get in touch with nature. Yeah, don't you remember the Grand Canyon? Here's some rocks and an iguana. Anyways, it's Tetris.
Bye, everybody. Love Tetris. That's my favorite game. Oh, wait, Keith, we're going to have to go for 20 more seconds because then the stream will be exactly three hours long. Okay, sounds good. 15 more. What do you got for me? Uh, subscribe to PewDiePie. <laughs> yeah, everybody like and subscribe, PewDiePie. Patreon.com slash run button. Support uh, us.